Friday Night Rivals pregame show is sponsored by Food City. Welcome into game number nine of Toyota's Friday Night Rivals presented by ETSU Health. This is the Food City pregame show. Tonight we have a monster matchup in Region 1D in Southwest Virginia. The 7-0 Honeaker Tigers visiting the 5-2 Patrick Henry Rebels. Patrick Henry is coming off their bye week. I asked Rebels head coach Seth Padgett to assess his team through their first seven games and what they need to do to beat the unbeaten Honeaker Tigers. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, I, you know, I think in our five wins we've played pretty good and in both of our losses we've, we've played good enough to win but just didn't finish. Did the bye come at a good time for your team? Yes, very good because we had a bunch of injuries and, and uh, you know, we, you know, we're going to get some kids back so, you know, maybe got us fresh. What do you and your coaching staff, what do you do during, what's your philosophy during a bye week? Do you do a lot of self-scouting to see what your tendencies were throughout the season? We do self-scout, you know, we just try to get, you know, better and, and um, you know, try to work on things that, you know, that we're, that we're messing up and screwing up and just try to keep on getting better. At 5-2 and two, coming into this game, you're fourth in the power points in Region uh, 1D. You got the top team, Honeaker 7-0 coming to your place on Friday night. They're a great football team and they've got skill guys all over the field they can throw it they can run it they got a big line defensively they fly around so uh, you know it's gonna be tough for us first Friday how can you replicate what they do to get ready for it in practice you really can't because you know you just don't have guys like that you know that are that fast and um, so you just try to put the best guys on each other that you can if that's if that's a starter versus a starter um, because you just can't simulate those things you know that they do Offensively, I know you're certainly more a ground and pound team. So with contrasting styles, it makes for a very unique matchup. We have to slow the game down, and we have to keep getting first downs. And we can't we can't give them short fields. If we fumble, and we give them short fields, then it's going to be a long night for us. But we have to slow the game down. Is your best defense your offense in this game? Possibly, yes. Um, you know, if we can keep it away from them. Um, you know, get some first downs, make them drive the field, you know, then we may have a shot. But again, if we give them short fields, it's going to be a long night. For the team that likes to run the ball, how critical is it that you have to stay on schedule, not just when you have the ball, but also not far, not fall too far behind where, you know, they can come back from two scores. You guys, maybe not as much. They can score on every single play. We're, you know, we're kind of that, you know, like you said, ground and pound. We cannot get back two or three scores. If we do, then, you know, it's just not, you know, we're just not built for that. You know, you know, it's like I say, we're not built for first and 20 or second and 15. You know, we can handle second and eight, but that's the same thing with them. We cannot get back, you know, two or two or three scores. Are your kids excited about this opportunity, this challenge playing Honeaker? Oh, they are. They are. And, uh, you know, you know, like I said, we had a great week last week. And so, um, you know, they're just pumped about the whole TV and all that. So, uh should be fun. You got a good speed in the backfield. Just describe what he's meant to your team. He, he's very shifty from the highlights you know, that I've seen, and certainly your leader in the backfield. Yeah. Smaller kid, um, you know, 5'7", probably 160, but he scored 30 times this year. He's ran for over 1,600 yards, and, you know, he does run like he's 200 pounds. And the uh, thing about him is, you know, he wants the ball every play. Those five guys up front blocking for him, of course, uh, you know, Tyler gets a lot of the headlines. Division one prospect as a junior, what type of player is he with people that haven't seen him if they tune in to watch this game? He's unreal. I mean, for his size, he can move, he can run, he's so strong. I mean, you're talking about a 600 pound squatter, but I think, you know, when you see him and you see he's so big, it's just the way he moves. He moves so well. You know, he's quick, he's fast, and uh, he's just a load. I know you were off last Friday, so when you saw the score, you saw 74 pop up for them. Were you like, is this real? I was like, this this is crazy. I was like, uh, what was it, 74, 51? And, you know, it's, you know, it's like I said, they can score on every play from anywhere on the field. The weather forecast for Friday looks like it could be a little rainy. Certainly, I imagine that puts a smile on your face. It does. Um, you know, I guess we'll see. Um, we've had, I said, we played, I guess, one game in the rain, and, you know, we did fairly well in it. And uh, I guess, you know, maybe that does hurt them. You know, I don't know. You know, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. What kind of atmosphere are you expecting around the, the school, the student body? What's the atmosphere going into this game like? Oh, it'll be packed, I'm sure. You know, it's been a craze. You know, it's been a buzz. And, and so, um, you know, our fan base is so good. And so I know, you know, should be packed. What's a couple of keys for you guys to get a win on Friday? Slow the game down. Cannot fumble the football. Uh, and we got to stop them at some point. We have to stop them. I mean, that's the, that's the three biggest keys. 
Coming up next, don't miss my conversation with Honeaker head coach Todd Tiller as his team is off to a perfect 7-0 start and they're coming off a school record 74 points last week. Why buy your new Lexus from Lexus of Kingsport? Customers always leave here smiling because the amount of time we spend with them, we put the customer first. That's our number one priority is to take care of each customer when they walk in the door. Lexus of Kingsport. Our commitment to customer satisfaction sets us apart. Catch the biggest plays and final scores on Friday Night Huddle with the News 5 sports team every Friday night during News 5 at 11. Sponsored by Ingalls, Champion Chevrolet, Citizens Bank, and Pals. Imagine buying a home with no down payment. Imagine buying that home without the added expense of private mortgage insurance. We're the Bank of Marion, and our no down payment, no PMI home loan has put hundreds of families throughout the region in their own homes. If your family has steady employment, dependable income, and a good credit rating, you may qualify for our no down payment, no PMI home loan. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store, beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. This is American Cancer Society making strides against breast cancer, the number one breast cancer movement in the country. Get in on the life-saving impact. Sign up today. At the Tiger Stop, convenience is what we do. We make it easy to get your tank filled, whether that's gas or food. You'll find your favorite beverages and snacks, and we'll cook to order some tasty treats. Daily specials and service with a smile will always be found at the Tiger Stop in Honeaker. The Honeaker Tigers offense is as fast as their nickname suggests. The Tigers have pounced on opponents early and often this season, scoring at least 36 points in every game. Last week, they scored a school record 74 points in a win at Narrows. Second-year head coach Todd Tiller, as you might expect, is pleased with how his team has played this season. It's been, not going to say expected, but it, it's been, uh, you know, kind of what we'd hoped for. You know, we, we were looking at uh, hopefully to have this success uh, throughout the uh, first part of the year and everything. So very pleased with it. Coming into the season, you had a lot of guys back. So what were your expectations for this team? We knew coming in that we were going to have a lot of returning starters and uh, a lot of kids back. And we our expectations were, you know, kind of pretty high for ourselves at least. You know, we wanted to host a playoff game. We wanted to win the district and hopefully compete for the region title. And, you know, so far, you know, we're moving in that right direction. Last year, we did your game at Virginia High. You know, it was midway through your first season playing a, a class above. Now this year, how would you describe your offense or people that maybe only saw you play last year, maybe on the TV game compared to this year? How much different is your offense? The work that the kids have put into it and the coaches that uh, have put into it in the off season and everything, they've made it to where it's been seamless. You know, uh, it's... You're able to do a lot more when they know what's expected. You know, coming in last year, we put in a new offense that the kids hadn't ran around here before, and you know, having them do it all last year, and then in the off season, then coming in this year, it's been clicking. So far this season, the fewest points you scored in the game is 36. So that kind of just describes what this offense has the capability of also doing. And you've also scored 50 plus in halves multiple times this year. Being able to. You know, put points on the board, gives the kids confidence, it helps them out. Uh, you know, us being able to do that. Also, you know, being able to put 50 on the board before halftime a lot of times, uh, you know, helps us get other kids in the game after that. And uh, it, it's been really special. Like I said, this is a special group, though, special group of kids and coaches. Last week, you set a school record 74 points at Narrows, and the crazy stat to me is you scored zero points in the third quarter, so you left a lot out there. They had a scoreless third quarter, and 
you know, but we scored 50 before halftime, so it was kind of okay. We could, we could handle that. For the kids, when they have this much success, how fun is it for them, the coaching staff? I'd have to think of that. Maybe you just add a little bit every week to them, just some wrinkles just to keep it exciting for them. The great thing about this offense and the great thing about what we've done is it's there's plenty of food at the table for everybody to eat. It's not just one person getting all the carries or all the, the yards or all the glory or anything like that. Everybody has participated. You know, we've had uh, seven, eight kids score touchdowns. You know, we, we've been able to have somebody lead us differently each week in, in yards. And, uh, you know, I, I think that plays a big part into the, the kids' excitement for the game and uh, loving playing in this system. Through the first eight weeks of the season, you're 7-0. You've already had your bye week, but you're where you want to be right now atop the region, atop the, the, the Hogahigi. But you got a big game this week with Patrick Henry going to their place. What are you expecting on Friday? It's going to be a heavyweight fight. You know, PH has uh, got a great program. They've done a great job. They've been, you know, uh, standard set over their uh, region titles and, and championship games and you know they're one of the top teams in region d year in year out and they've got one of the best players and and uh, one of the best coaches over there too you know i i really look forward to uh you know doing battle over there but i i tell you it's gonna be a tough game they've got a great offensive defensive line and good speed you know he's fast he he gets out there he's gone you know so gotta be able to try to limit big plays Certainly have to think it'd be quite a contrast of style as your offense want to throw the ball probably 40 to 50 times a game. Yeah. They may throw it four to five times a game. So very contrasting styles we're going to see on Friday night. You're going to see a run heavy team and then you're going to see a, I guess you'd call pass happy team. But, you know, we like to mix in the run too. And, you know, that's one of the things about our offense is, you know, we can be very versatile. We can also run. Um, but I know you know, they're going to want to try to limit the time possession. They're going to want to control the clock and, and give us less opportunities to have the ball. So, yeah, it's going to be a definitely, uh, if you want to see two uh, totally different offenses, you'll be able to see that Friday. How critical is that for your messaging of the defense and even the offense to take advantage of opportunities, at least early, because if they go on one of those eight- and nine-minute drives, a quarter can be gone like that. We talked about that in our coaches' meeting. We're like, you know, we understand that what they're going to try to do. So each possession of ours is, you know, even more critical, though, for us. You know, we definitely can't have the miscues or mental mistakes or things take happen that, uh, you know, so that time of possession is not affected as much. Coming up, we'll go inside the numbers on tonight's matchup between Honeaker and Patrick Henry. Live Golf from the CW. Anything can happen. Has been building all season to this. It's all about the teams. The 2023 Team Championship. Catch every moment in Miami, Florida. As Torque and the Crushers look to dethrone the four aces. And guess what? My team's going to do it again. Let's be honest. We all hate the aces. Live Golf Miami. Live Golf this Saturday and Sunday, starting at 1 on the Tri-City CW. Legend has it there was once a man who climbed the same mountain each morning, rewarding his summit with a smoky sausage biscuit from Pals. I love these savory, juicy Smokies. These mountains will henceforth be known as the smoke. <laughs> no, 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 bird. No, please come back. My smoky. Locals say you can still hear his cries today. Pals, great food in a flash. This is the all-new Grand Highlander. Toyota took the best-selling Highlander and made it bigger, more powerful, and more fuel-efficient. With your choice of three different powertrains, including the 362-horsepower Hybrid Max. The interior design is so tech-focused, I'm in total control. And you've got to love the 12.3-inch touchscreen. The big news is right back here with over 20 cubic feet of cargo space. Behind a full-size third row. Step up to something grand. Toyota. Let's go places. The Lee Theater, Pennington Gap, Virginia, has two nights of great music, part of the 2023 Tobacco Festival events. On Friday, the 27th, former folk soul revival lead singer Daniel Davis takes the stage, followed by singer-songwriter Chris Knight, who penned Montgomery Gentry's number one hit, She Couldn't Change Me. On Saturday, Brittany Avery Mullins takes the stage, followed by Julie Roberts, singer of Breakdown Here, Minna Mascara, plus more. For tickets, leetheater.org. 
Welcome back to the Food City pregame show. Time to go inside the numbers on tonight's matchup between Honeaker and Patrick Henry. The Tigers are perfect 7 and 0 and they're the top team currently in the region 1D power points. Patrick Henry meanwhile, they are 5 and 2, currently 4th in the region 1D standings. Both of these teams can score points, but Honeaker they are on an entirely different level. Tigers are averaging 51.7 points per game. Again, that is their average. They're coming off a game where they scored 74 points. That's a school record. Honeaker, they're going to throw the ball about 70 to 75% of the time. Meanwhile, Patrick Henry, they're averaging 34.4 points per game. The Rebels are all about the run game. The Rebels will run the ball about 80 to 85% of the time. Now, defensively, both of these teams giving up just under 20 points per game. It's almost time for kickoff, but first, the Prep Picks crew makes their predictions for some of the top games of the week when we come back. When it comes to the analysis of what really happened in the Vols game, nobody knows it better than the players. The men who wore the orange. And the players that wear the orange today. That's why we partnered up with the players. Join us each week for the Volunteer Club Locker Room, powered by Spire Sports. Analysis from the guys who played here and still play here today. Watch the Volunteer Club Locker Room, Sunday night at 11 on Fox 39 WEMT. All trophies and plaques for WCYB's Friday Night Rivals are provided by Eddie's Trophies and Gift Shop in Bristol. Eddie's Trophies also offers medals, plaques, acrylics, glass, and crystal pieces for your business, school, or sports team. That's Eddie's Trophy and Gift Shop online at eddiestrophies.com. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store. Beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. Stay with Storm Track 5 to know when and where to catch nature's breathtaking show of colors and be sure to upload your fall photos to chime in. We love sharing your colorful snapshots with everyone on air. Storm Track 5, alerting you to severe weather danger. Since 1936, Modern Chevrolet in Honeaker has put thousands of people in the region into cars and trucks. You might be thinking, how has a dealership continued to operate for over 80 years? By treating people right. Also, if you need a trailer, truck bed, or other equipment, the Modern Super Center on Highway 19 in Lebanon provides 10 acres of choices. Check out our websites, modernchevrolet.com and modernsupercenter.com to see our inventory at both locations. If we don't have it, we'll work hard to find it for you. Welcome into week 10 of Prep Picks. I cannot believe it is already week 10. Heather Williams alongside Cole Johnson and Steve Wilmot from ESPN Tri-Cities, TriCitiesports.com. Cole and I each went four and one last week. Steve went three and two, so that you have to make up a little ground, Steve. We will let you go first, starting in Tennessee, a big game for Sullivan County bragging rights between Tennessee High and West Ridge. Now, those Vikings really have that ground attack going over 300 yards rushing in the win at Cock County last week. West Ridge defense has played pretty well against the run all year, only allowed Science Hill 123 yards. That West Ridge offense, minus quarterback Trey Frazier, only 21 points in two games. I expect this to be a low-scoring affair. Game could turn on a special team's play. I'll take Westridge. It's going to be a game like 17-14, something like that, I think. Yeah, I think looking at this game, the one thing that we haven't talked much about was Trey Frazier being absent here. How does this Westridge team look without Trey Frazier at the quarterback position? Um, I agree with Steve. I think it's going to be a, maybe a low-scoring game here. It's going to be who can stop that run. I I'm going to go with Westridge in a tight battle here. Want to shake things up, right? We pick the same every week. I agree this is going to be a close game, so why not? Vikings, don't let me down. I'm going to give the nod to you in a little bit of an upset underdog role. A big game when it comes to the seeding in Region 1 3, uh, 3A with Chucky Doak faces off with Unicoi County. Cole, who do you like in this one? 
Yeah, this might be the best game of the week. Um, just looking at these two teams. I mean, two teams in 3A battling for, you know, the playoff positions. They're right there with each other. If Chucky Doak doesn't answer the call and fix the things that they had, mistakes they had two weeks ago against Johnson County, I think the same things happened. Um, Chucky Doak came back from a 14-0 deficit to beat Unicoi last year. I don't know if they can do that again. I'm going to go with Unicoi County in this game. If you lose this game, you've got two league losses and potentially facing a quick ouster with a trip to eight-time defending champion Alcoa. So it's a huge game. I'm going to go with Unicoi at home as well. I thought about Chucky Doak for a better part of it since you had put the picks out, but I think I'm going to stick with Unicoi County. That three points still bothers me that uh, Chucky Doak scored against Johnson County. You know, I think that the freshman quarterback against the defense of Chucky Doak is really what concerns me, so I'll do it. But I'm going to go with Chucky Doak in this game. A fascinating cross-state rivalry game between Holston when they make the short trip across the mountain to take on Johnson County. Steve, we'll just start with you. Yeah, you know, local geographical aficionados may not realize exactly how close these schools are together. It may not be easier to get there, but they're pretty close together. Although I don't think they've played since 1988. I like that Johnson County defense and Johnson County being at home. I'll give, I'll take the Longhorns. Right, I think they impressed us all. Again, two weeks ago, going back to that Chucky Doak game, the way they won that football game. This defense has elite level, and I think they can hang on here in this one. If you asked me this question maybe three weeks ago, I might have le leaned towards Holston, but the way, as you guys mentioned, Johnson County's defense is playing right now, I'm going to make it a clean sweep for the Longhorns. All right. On the Virginia side, a big Region 1D battle, and Rye Cove takes on Chilhowee Cole. We'll start with you. Yeah, Rye Cove has just looked really, really good this year. I, I don't know if I can back the, go against them. I mean, Chill Howie's been impressive. They had that 4-1 start, let a couple of games slip away the past couple of weeks. I think they hang tight here, but Rykov, you know, they haven't backed down to anybody, and I think that they take this game. They have a, one of their best games of the year. They roll J.I. Burton next week and then set up that, you know, regular season finale with Twin Springs for the district title. Did I say that these two teams have never played each other before? Yeah, I it's think crazy. Like I did say that. Uh, Rykov, you look at what the Eagles have done all year. I'm taking yeah, as Cole mentioned, I love what they've done at Chihuahua this season, but right now, Rykov is probably the second best team in Region 1D, and I think they show it. Our Friday Night Rivals game of the week. Oh, a couple of best friends battling it out in the coaching ranks. Honeaker versus Patrick Henry. Steve, we'll start with you. Is that Honeaker gang complete from last week? The 74-51? Is that the final year? Uh, I think the Tigers just scored again, <laughs> okay. I'm being told. I mean, if that was one of those games that Cole and I get to sit through on Saturdays sometime, the game might not be over yet. But anyway, uh, seven 74 points, you give up 51 and you still win by three scores. That's the offense that we've seen from Honaker. Paid music, 307 yards, six touchdowns. Patrick Henry, we say this every week against Honaker. Can a football team muster enough offense on the ground to keep that Honaker offense off the field? Patrick Henry has the guys up front, has the running backs to maybe do that for a while. But eventually, there's just too much offense for Honeaker. We've said it every week. We'll say it again this week. I'll take Honeaker. We all think we know what Patrick Henry is, but can they stay on the field long enough and run the clock, milk the clock, keep Honeaker off the field? And I think that's the big question. If they can do that, this could be a very good football game. But even if you do do that, Honeaker can strike in two seconds. I got to go with Honeaker. We'll see if their defense can step up, too, because they did give up 51 <laughs> points in, uh, last week, but I think th they'll hang on. This game is going to be closer than you guys are leading on to, and I'll tell you why. It's going to be wet. And when it's going to be wet, that kind of game absolutely favors Patrick Henry. Uh, the Rebels, as you mentioned, love to ground and pound that football. You know, I think Patrick Henry stays in this one. I do think that Honegger gets the win, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think because of that X factor of the weather. And because I know people cannot get enough of prep picks, we have added a new dimension this year, a YouTube show, more games, plus two more panelists. Episode 10 is on the WCYB YouTube channel right now. And remember, you can get all your scores and highlights Friday at 11.15 on Friday Night Huddle. Our multi-platform severe weather alert system immediately provides you severe storm alerts, storm warnings, tornado warnings. Use the QR code to download our weather app. Choose your severe weather alert system. It's your first line of defense when severe weather threatens. Severe weather alerts and warnings every time for every condition on every platform. 
So you have a good job, steady, dependable income, and a good credit rating. But you just haven't been able to save enough money for a down payment on the new home your family needs and deserves. Good news. Hundreds of families just like yours are now enjoying life in their new home thanks to a no down payment, no PMI home loan from the Bank of Marion. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. For 46 years, Ford F-Series has earned the trust of more people than any other brand. Earned it with more toughness, more innovation, and more capability. And during Truck Month at your local Ford store, you can get more savings, more selection, and more for your hard-earned money. Hurry in today to get a new F-150 with 3.9 for 60 plus 2,500 cash back. Truck Month will be gone soon, so visit your local Ford store today, where there's always more in store. This is American Cancer Society making strides against breast cancer, the number one breast cancer movement in the country. We are the movement, the hope, the future. Celebrating the courage of survivors and drivers. Be the movement. Sign up for the walk. Be the hope. Support a survivor. Be the future. Donate to help end breast cancer. Sign up today. Welcome to Patrick Henry High School. The Color Rush jerseys tonight, all orange, all Carolina blue for Patrick Henry and Coach. We got some big time players on the field tonight, starting with Honeaker's quarterback. Yeah, Peyton Music, uh, you can see he was wearing number one there. He's a junior. Unbelievable this year what he's been able to accomplish. He's passed the ball for over 1,900 yards and 32 touchdowns and only eight football games. And he's got some help tonight. His brother returning to the lineup, Avery Music. Yeah, Avery, he's, uh, he's one of the top receivers. He'll be coming out of the slot back position tonight, the inside receiver in that spread formation. And they've got uh, four receivers that's caught five touchdowns or more for the Tigers. On the other side of the ball, Patrick Henry, all about that ground game. And you've got to start with Cameron Goodspeed. Yeah, Goodspeed. You can see there he wears number eight. He's a senior. Uh, when you're talking about offense for the Rebels, you're talking about good speed there. He's carried the ball unbelievable 196 times this year for almost 1,600 yards and 23 touchdowns carrying the ball. He's accounted for 30 touchdowns, almost eight yards a carry this year. And then we have the Division One prospect on the offensive and defensive lines, Tyler Barrett. This is an incredible story. He did not start playing football to the eighth grade, moved here from Maryland. Notre Dame, he's already been to. Virginia Tech has offered some Big time schools looking at him. Hey, I tell you what, anybody in the state of Virginia would like to have him on his high school football team. I can tell you, everybody, everybody in Southwest Virginia, all the way to the to the Atlantic Ocean, would love to have a, a kid like that. I mean, you're talking about a guy that gets after it, comes off the ball offensively and defensively. Look for big things out of him tonight. All right, we'll kick off with Patrick Henry and Honeaker. We come back on Friday Night Rivals. All-wheel drive season is coming. Changes, weather, road conditions. What doesn't change? Toyota's commitment to giving you the freedom to explore with more all-wheel drive choices like the adventurous RAV4, America's best-selling SUV. Now get a new RAV4 with low 3.99 APR financing or 4.99 on an electrified RAV4 hybrid plus two years no-cost maintenance. Change is coming. Stay ahead with RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. To Virginia Farm Bureau insurance agent Aaron Bostic, hometown means a lot. It means serving local communities in all of Southwest Virginia, which agent Aaron Bostic does. Aaron has been providing local service with a personal touch for years. Aaron Bostic is your local Virginia Farm Bureau agent who becomes your friend. For auto, for farm, for life. Call Aaron Bostic, 276-701-7625. At the Tiger Stop, convenience is what we do. We make it easy to get your tank filled, whether that's gas or food. You'll find your favorite beverages and snacks, and we'll cook to order some tasty treats. Daily specials and service with a smile will always be found at the Tiger Stop in Oneacre. Visit the Kaiser Furniture Outlet for tremendous savings every day. With quality furniture, excellent customer service, the largest selection, and always the very best price, why go anywhere else? Kaiser Furniture Outlet, Abingdon. You're watching the Tri-City CW.
Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by ETSU Health. Welcome back to Patrick Henry High School. Casey gets alongside the coach, James Colley. What a great one we have tonight. 7-0 Honaker, 5-2 Patrick Henry here on Toyota's Friday Night Rivals. Let's go down now to the coin toss. This evening's coin toss is sponsored by the Tennessee Army National Guard. And coach, I can't think of a more important coin toss because of how different these contrasting styles these two teams play. Yeah, I think what you'll see tonight, uh, when it's not raining right now, I think that if Honecker wins the toss, they might go ahead and take the ball tonight. And on the other hand, uh, PH, they might defer to the second half just because you were talking about the passing game and the running game. Well, I was telling you, know, Coach Padgett, when I talked to him on Monday, he told me if we win the coin toss, we're taking the ball. So we'll see if he sticks to it if they win it here. Of course, Honaker is the visiting team. They get to call the coin toss. Looks like Patrick Henry won it. I was going to Patrick Henry has won the toss and elected to receive. Coach, a man of his word. He said if we win the coin toss, we're going to take the football. Their hope is about to go on about an eight or nine minute drive to start this game. At exactly right. They want to keep the ball, uh, move it on the ground, move the chains. Patrick Henry has won the Keep the ball out of uh, Honecker's hands. So we'll see this Patrick Henry offense first. And they run the ball about 80 to 85% of the time. Coach, let's look at our keys of the game tonight. Yeah, you look at keys of the game for Honecker on offense. They want to keep the pocket clean, protect that quarterback, pick up the stunts, and give music time to throw the football. And over on defense, they want to limit the big plays on offense to keep the Rebels in check all night. And they're going to come out right now to see if they can keep them in check. And over on Patrick Henry's side of the field, on offense, they want to establish a running game, what we were just talking about. They want to get first down, score, keep the ball in their hands, and keep it away from the Tigers. And on defense, they want to slow down the passing attack. they got to put pressure on music tonight. they got to have great coverage in the secondary if they want to come out top. Keys to the game tonight on Friday Night Rivals. Can't wait for this one right here. The weather, it was raining earlier, maybe a little bit of rain, 51 degrees right now. Hopefully by the second half, any scattered showers will get out of here, but a little chilly and as we get towards the end of October, these two teams are getting ready to run out. And there's Todd Tiller, the Honeaker Tigers right there, 7-0, averaging 51 points a game. If you like throwing the football, this is the team you want to watch, Honeaker. There's Todd Tiller, second-year head coach at Honeaker. He's also been the head coach at Ridgeview and Fort Chiswell. Ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet. Meanwhile, on the other side, for the Rebels of Patrick Henry, the home team, they are 5-2 and two, coming off an open week, so they've had two weeks to get ready for this game. Seth Pageant, their head coach, he's in his fourth season at Patrick Henry. And I'm sure they spent some of that extra time here uh, having two weeks to prepare for Honeaker and their pass coverage. They might, we might see something different in the secondary tonight. They're usually a two-deep safety. They're, they give you that 3-4 uh, look on defense, so... Uh, I'm sure we're going to see that tonight, but we might see some special coverage as well. But the thing about it, they can't key on one receiver because they have so many receivers and, and uh, younger music's back tonight. And here come the Rebels of Patrick Henry in the Carolina Blue, the home crowd fired up for this one. There's Seth Padgett, you see right there in the visor. He's a big golfer, so he's always <laughs> ready to, got the visor. I never know when he may have to go play nine someday. He's in his fourth season as the head coach at Patrick Henry. You can see they're averaging 700% uh, winning percentage. That's uh, really good. We're gonna get ready here for the national anthem. We'll certainly let you listen into that once they start the national anthem here. Honeaker's coming off a school record 74 points last week when they won at Narrows. They gave up 51, but they scored 74. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Henry High School Athletics would like to thank all the brave members of our community firefighters, rescue squad, and law enforcement personnel. And would like to take a moment of silence to remember those who have lost their lives in service to our community. We'd especially like to remember and honor the fallen firefighter, Cameron Craig, who lost his life in the line of duty during a recent tragic accident. Cameron served our community with the Abingdon Fire Department and with Richardson Ambulance Service. We would like to extend our deepest sympathies to all of his family, friends, and fellow emergency service members. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor Cameron Craig.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats. Here in honor of America and those who serve with the playing of the national anthem, is the Patrick Henry Rebel Regiment. started coming down right at seven o'clock on the dot certainly not something that patrick henry is going to be too upset about they were perfectly okay with it raining and getting this field be as muddy and as messy as possible yeah that's uh comes in play in the running game you don't mind it at all but when you're throwing the ball uh, you want to have a dry football and you, you really don't want to have a wet field because you like to cut on it to get into your open uh, routes and the patrick henry band did amazing the job uh, there the rain's pouring down on them beautiful sound of our national anthem i looked at the storm track five weather app here and it looks like that there is a little bit of light showers out there but it looks like the number of it should all be out of here so maybe some off and on rain in the first half but hopefully in the second half it'll be out of here as you can see it's coming down pretty good I got here about 4.30 this afternoon, and it was absolutely pouring. There was some hail coming down here around 4.30, but didn't last more than about 15 minutes. And then it had not rained from about 4.50 until 7 o'clock. So we had two hours of dry time during warm-ups. But now as we're ready for kickoff, the rain's coming down pretty good. Honeaker will kick things off here. The 7-0 Tigers, 5-2 Rebels, and we are underway in Glade Spring, Virginia. Rebel's gonna let this one go, and they step out of bounds. A bit of a mistake there for Patrick Henry. Yeah, if he could have uh, got out of bounds and touched that ball, then it would have been out of bounds, but his, uh, his feet was in bounds. So the Rebels are gonna take, take over just uh, uh, inside, looks like the 10-yard line. I think inside the 10-yard line, Alex Brown be the quarterback. He was the man that had the ball there. As he stepped out of bounds, you see Coach Pageant, you're gonna see a lot of running the ball from Patrick Henry, as we mentioned, Cameron Goodspeed. He's carried the ball 196 times in seven games. That's a, that's amazing, and and he's done an awesome job. Eight yards a, a, a carry, averaging, that's, uh, that's great. He averages 227 yards a game and three touchdowns. That's his per game average. Rebels in the shotgun to start here on first and 10 inside their own 10 and they're going to come out with a design run this will be for brown he's got some room on the left side alex brown with a nice carry on first down. we take a look at the patrick henry offense coach yeah you're looking for brown uh, the quarterback and the uh, good speed the running back that's two of their two of their main guys on offense and as well as up front having those big guys to, to block uh barrett number 78 and ellis on that left side you can see they just ran to the left right then Brown got a gain of nine, second and one. They're going to stay in the shotgun. Goodspeed's going to get his first carry, and he doesn't have much. I don't think he got the first down. Uh, I don't believe he did either. Uh, what you had that time, he had a stun in the middle there by McLaughlin, number 33, the linebacker. He was able to get in there behind the, the right guard and stop him in the backfield, so it's bringing up third and short. Third, and we're going to say two now. I think they might have lost a yard there on second down. We'll say third and two for Patrick Henry. Brown's going to stay in the shotgun. He's been there all game. Good speed in motion. It's a direct snap though to the up back. And it looks like they got the first down. Yeah, I, I oh, believe he did. Just barely got it. That, that was, uh, that's their famous running formation. Double tight, double wings. You can see good speed going in motion and usually they hand off to him. But that time, like you said, it was a direct snap to the up back and they were able to get a first down and move the chains. Honaker has a player that lost his helmet. Blake Shepard, number 67. He's going to have to come out of the game for one play 6 3 320 pounds senior they've always had big linemen at honeaker and it continues 
You can see they're in a five-man front right now. Looks like they got nine people in the box. You could actually say 10. First and 10 for the Rebels. Good speed's gonna get on first down. He's gonna run the right side. Good speed breaking some tackles. Nice push. He gets seven, maybe eight. Yeah, he broke a tackle right there at the line of scrimmage. He was able to keep him legs turning while he's been doing all year. Like I said, pick up seven yards on first down. So you got a second and short here off that right hand side over there. Great push over by Dunn and McFall, and Mink was the tight end that time. Coach Pageant adding, you know, we can handle second and eight third and five not a problem we can't have second and 15 third and 12 he's our offense is not built that's not how we want to play the game here and so far they've not had any negative plays uh, they've misdirection there maybe a miscommunication brown's in trouble he's going to be brought down by parker bandy and company and look like maybe brown went the wrong way yeah one of two things happened there either the halfback went the wrong way or the quarterback opened up the wrong side but he did the smart thing. He he kept it uh, kept it alive and started running outside there. See Brown there. He wasn't for sure uh, what happened there when he didn't get the football. Yeah, either Brown or Goodspeed. One of them went the wrong way on that play. So a loss of two, third and five for the Rebels. Yeah, he tried to draw them off sides there with the start, start count. You can see a couple Honecker guys uh, nudge forward. Good speed in the pistol. He's going to get it on third and five, and he's going to not get it. He's got maybe one yard. That's going to set up fourth and four. That Honeaker defense, Isaac Johnson in on the stop. Yeah, that was a great play over there on that right-hand side of the defense. You can see him coming up there and getting a stop. Uh, hit from the inside there immediately. Looks like Hone so Honeaker is forcing a punt here. Patrick Henry is going to send in the punt team. It's fourth and four. Now, the punter for Patrick Henry, Noah Rilo, he's actually from Germany. He's the punter. Big kid. Let's see if Honecker puts a little pressure on him here on his first punt tonight. We'll see if Patrick Henry tries to draw them off size if they have something with it being fourth and four, if they can get Honecker to jump. Rilo boots one away here. Nice high kick. Honecker fields it at midfield. They got some running room. The Tigers are going to have very good field position at about the 41-yard line. Aiden Lowe returns that one for Honeaker. Of course, Aiden Lowe last year, I believe, he had eight touchdowns in a game last season. Yeah, uh, against this team. I believe it was against PH that he had the eight touchdowns. So now we look, we're looking for a, a high-paired offense here through the air for the Honeaker Tigers. As methodical as Patrick Henry is, Honeaker is the exact opposite. They want to get off as many plays as they can. Peyton Music, he's averaging 271 yards passing the game and four touchdowns. Coming out in a spread formation right off the bat. Four receivers, one back. You can see... Uh, PH is in a stack 3-3 three, three defense. 3-3-5. Three, three, uh, uh, yeah, they're getting ready to stunt over here on the left-hand side of their left. Uh, offensive right, play clock must have uh, expired. So he might have got a timeout called over there on the sideline, yeah. So we're going back. I We'll stay here with Honeaker taking a timeout here. And certainly maybe they saw something from Patrick Henry they haven't seen yet in the defense, a little bit of a confusion. Uh, yeah, it looked, it looked a little different there uh, with that 3-3 stack rather than uh, the 3-4. So they drop another guy back there in the secondary, but they still have six in the box. So and we, we can look for uh, just like they gave a stunt there away there on that uh, first snap count. Uh, two guys were going, and uh, one was playing it safe back there. So we'll see what happens here if they're going to be sending five all night or try to rush with three and cover with eight. I can't count how many times Coach Padgett for Patrick Henry told me that Honeaker can score literally anywhere on the field at any time. You can see they moved a the linebacker up on the line of scrimmage there where they've got a top wing this time. Music on first down is going to hand it off to Aiden Lowe, and here's that wet field. He slips and falls down. Yeah, I think there was a hole there on the right-hand side, uh, but he slips and falls right off the bat. So it's a loss of a couple yards on first down. Here's the Patrick Henry defense again. These are both 1D schools, so a lot of guys you see on both offense and defense there with Barrett, good speed, Stewart. There is an injury for Patrick Henry in this game, Eli Delp, number five, tight end linebacker. He is out of this game with an injury, so that's something that Honeaker 
was a look to take advantage of. And here's a screen to Aiden Lowe. Aiden Lowe has it, and he is on his way to the house for a touchdown. 43 yards on a little screen for Aiden Lowe. Yeah, right, right in the middle, you could see a excellent job from the offensive line and hit. And I was watching him block that time with the nose and then uh, let him go. And then right there in the middle, Lowe gets the ball, and then he turns on the Jets. Aiden Lowe, the senior, picking up right where he left off last year against Patrick Henry. Yeah, that's uh, that like just like you said, score anywhere on the field. Honecker is going to go for two here. Four receivers, man in motion, music looking. He's got a man across the middle that is caught for a two-point conversion to his brother Avery Music. That makes it eight to nothing. You're watching Friday Night Robbers. <laughs> All-wheel drive season is coming. Changes, weather, road conditions. What doesn't change? Toyota's commitment to giving you the freedom to explore. With more all-wheel drive choices, like the adventurous RAV4, America's best-selling SUV. Now get a new RAV4 with low 3.99 APR financing or 4.99 on an electrified RAV4 hybrid, plus two years no-cost maintenance. Change is coming. Stay ahead with RAV4. Toyota. Let's go places. ETSU Health's tradition of caring for our community has deep roots. You see, we are more than healthcare workers. We're a proud part of this community. That's why you'll find us serving in your schools and joining the festivities at community events like these. We're here to help our community thrive. We're cultivating wellness, celebrating our roots, and growing our families alongside yours. Whether at a clinic or the next community event, come see us. We're here for you. Welcome back. The U.S. Air Force fan cam out tonight here at Patrick Henry High School. Fans having to use those umbrellas here early in this one with the rain coming down. Again, it did not start raining here till right around 7 o'clock. About two hours of dry time. Our crew that's been here since 12 o'clock, they said it's been like that all day. Rain for a little bit, stop for a couple hours, then pick up again. So, Honeaker on top, eight to nothing. This one looks like it is gonna go out of bounds, this kickoff, so Patrick Henry will have much better field position. Yeah, they'll take the penalty and uh, move the ball up here to the 35-yard uh, line. I'm sure is what's going Illegal to Illegal kick out of bounds on the kicking team. Ball will be spotted at the 35-yard line. First down, Honeaker. That's Jared Worley. He's our referee tonight. Smart play by PH on that kickoff there where it was going to the side, let it go out of bounds. Excellent field position starting off here for the running game. Is it too early to say this is a must score for Patrick Henry? Uh, yeah, they'd like to put some points on the board, but one important thing they want to do is for that clock to run and get the time off the board as well as score. Good speed on first down. He's fighting for a few yards and then gets pushed by his lineman. He turns that from nothing into a gain of five. Yeah, he was hit in the backfield. They came in behind the guy pulling. I think the left guard pulled to kick out over on that right-hand side. You can see number 76 that time. That was Ellis. And uh, sort of ran into Ellis and the defensive guy, but he was still able to go forward. It just shows you what a good running back he is. Patrick Henry is in no hurry. They're going to take their time and try and use as much of the play clock as they can here. Again, they want to shorten this game as much as possible. Rain really coming down right now. Good speed on second and five. Churning those legs. He's going to be close to a first down. I think he's going to be a couple yards short. Yeah, you can see this time they pulled two linemen from the right-hand side coming over here to the left-hand side. He just followed them up through there, was able to pick up some positive yardage uh, it's gonna be third and short say third and two we're gonna see a lot of this formation tonight double tight ends in there tight wing back blocking back we got some movement up front maybe offsides against Honeaker. yeah I think you stepped across the line there broke the neutral zone dead ball encroachment defense five yards from the previous spot yeah, you can see he was the only one that moved uh, just to start count with the quarterback, his cadence there. Everybody was staying in there tight for uh, PH. I'm sure they've done that a few times this year. Defense is wanting to get across that line of scrimmage, try to get good speed before he gets started. 
Patrick Henry, this will be the second rain game they've played in. Coach Pageant said they, they've had one earlier this year, and there are several schools across the region that moved their game to Thursday evening. But this is something, you know, come playoff time, you may get to have to play in one of these games, so it's probably good for both teams to experience this because you may see this down the line. Exactly. All right, this will be a direct snap and a run by Brown for a couple. Yeah, when you have a running back like good speed there, you're able to use him as a decoy, and it opens up a little bit for your quarterback there. You can see running straight up the middle was able to pick up about uh, three yards that time. That's perfectly fine with Patrick Henry. Gain of three, because you do that four times, you're going to get a first down. <laughs> exactly. And they're at midfield right now. Well, actually, they've crossed over into Honecker's territory. Yeah, second and seven from the 49. We're halfway through the first quarter. Patrick Henry got the ball first. They punted. Honeaker scored in two plays. It's going to be Brown again on a designed run. Again, just pushing forward. That's a nice. He's very close to a first down. He might have. It's very close. Yeah, I think what we had a little crosswalk over there on that right-hand side that time between the guard and the tackle. And then he just hit it up in there behind him with the lead blocker and was able to get right close. We might have a measurement here. Yeah, officials have stopped the clock. They're going to measure it here. It's either going to be first and 10 or third and inches for Patrick Henry as Alex Brown, the junior quarterback, has carried the last two plays. And we got our man Preston going to go out here and give us a shot right down the line of whether or not this is a first down or third and inches it must be really close in this weather usually that uh head referee will say first down if it's uh if it looks like it we want to measure this time just short it looks like oh my goodness look at that camera work excellent job all right right in on it third and a couple of inches yeah the refs look like he said a foot but I, i'm with you casey it's just a couple inches there with zooming in on that They might try to get it the easy way here and draw them off sides, but they could go on first sound. He's telling them to wait, hold up here. Yeah, they haven't even started winding the play clock yet here. So Patrick Henry, see Coach Padgett saying, just hold on. The one thing is they have had every snap out of the shotgun so far. They have not been under center. Yeah, he just signaled in the play. Uh, could be the same thing, and it is. It's the same play. He just needed a couple inches. I think he got it. We'll see where the see the lines judge running in from Honeaker sideline there. He's got the spot. You got it. Good call. First down. That's a pal's first down for the Patrick Henry Rebels. So far, we've played seven and a half minutes. I would say time of possession is probably seven minutes to thirty <laughs> seconds uh, in favor of Patrick Henry but it's 8 nothing Honeaker. Yeah, you're going to see there's going to be a big difference tonight in the number of plays on offense. Good speed after getting a couple plays as a rest. He breaks one outside. Cameron, good speed, a gain of nine. I think he's just short of another first down for Patrick Henry. Yeah, excellent on his part of following his blockers and making little cuts as he gets up through here. You can see it right now inside. Now he's going outside, breaking a tackle. Spinning off of it, right up with what you could say is almost a 10-yard run. They'll give him credit for nine. Good speed, 5'7", about 160 pounds, according to Coach Padgett. But he said he runs like he's 200 pounds. Yeah, he definitely runs like he's 200 pounds. You could talk to any team he's played this year, and they'll tell you that. Second and one for the Rebels. Good speed has the first down and then some Cameron Goodspeed inside the 20 to 15 10 5 touchdown Cameron Goodspeed from 32 yards that makes it 8 to 6. Yeah you'll see when he gets out here this time when he gets about to the 10 to the 15 yard line you can see a little hesitation move just enough to slow down the defenders here for Honeaker see it right there it is and then he speeds back up and gets into the end zone. Great run, excellent block him up the middle again, then cut it to the outside. That's his 24th rushing touchdown on the season for Cameron Goodspeed. And Patrick Henry, they will go for two as well here to try and tie the game at eight. That might have been the reason uh, Tiller decided to go for that for the Honecker. He knew what's going to happen when they, when they get down there, if they get in. 
Looks like good speed is going to be lined up in the quarterback position. Here he is, and he takes it in for the two-point conversion. That'll tie the game at eight. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We could have a shootout here tonight. We'll be back on Toyota's Friday Night Rivals. At the Tiger Stop, convenience is what we do. We make it easy to get your tank filled, whether that's gas or food. You'll find your favorite beverages and snacks, and we'll cook to order some tasty treats. Daily specials and service with a smile will always be found at the Tiger Stop in Oneacre. Imagine buying a home with no down payment. Imagine buying that home without the added expense of private mortgage insurance. We're the Bank of Marion, and our no down payment, no PMI home loan has put hundreds of families throughout the region in their own homes. If your family has steady employment, dependable income, and a good credit rating, you may qualify for our no down payment, no PMI home loan. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. Trick or Treat Trivia, it's your chance to win. Just watch News 5 today at 6. Look for the QR code to enter. Answer correctly and you could win the daily prize of a $100 Visa gift card or be in a drawing for the $5,000 weekly winner. Complete contest rules at WCYB.com. Welcome back to Patrick Henry. 8-8 eight to eight the score. That last scoring drive for the Rebels. Seven plays, 60 yards. Took four minutes, 19 seconds off the clock. Yeah, they, they like to run that clock, run that clock, and get in the end zone. That's what they need to happen tonight if they're going to be successful. Well, Patrick Henry will kick off now for the first time. Their kicker is Grant McCannon. You can see uh, Honecker's up to about the 12-yard line there waiting for this kick. We might have something uh, going over to one sideline here tonight. Buchanan has a nice leg. He does a line drive, though. This one goes through Aiden low and into the end zone. So Honaker will bring that one out to the 20. Yeah, he did uh, sort of like the shortstop. He didn't get down there to get his hands underneath the ball there. So it got through the, into the end zone, and I know uh, PH has to be happy about that. Coach Padgett's thrilled. They got the ball on the 20 now. Yeah, Honaker's first possession started at the Patrick Henry 43-yard line. This time, Honaker is going to have to start at their own 20. But if there's any team that doesn't really care about having to go 80 yards, I would say it would be Honaker. Yeah, they're coming back out in with the, uh, they got an H back this time with the wides to the uh, left side of the veal. Patrick Henry showing pressure. They're got up the middle pressure. Music's going to throw it away. Low, incomplete, looking for Malachi Low, but the Rebels brought some pressure there. Yeah, he found his open receiver, but he didn't have time to throw it. They sent six people that time. Uh, you can see the linebackers getting in there quick. Uh, Malachi couldn't come up with the ball there. Lost his footing. Peyton Music Jr., 33 touchdown passes on the season now. After that one earlier, just one interception. His only interception of the season came last week at Rural Retreat. Second and 10. Looks like they're setting up another screen. This time the Parker Bandy, and he's going nowhere. So that's the second time they tried that. The first time goes for a touchdown, second time, no game. Yeah, you can see that time uh, sitting in there just waiting. That wasn't rushing to the linebacker. He came up to the line of scrimmage. Jenkins that time, number 33, and did a, did a really good job there. All right, so now Honaker facing third and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Yeah, you see they got trips over here to the wide side of the field this time. Man coverage. It's going to be designed run. That was Aiden Lowe in a quarterback, and he picks up just two yards. So Honaker, nothing going on this possession. Yeah, you can see they pulled a couple linemen that time. Linebacker slipped in there behind him, was able to get in there to make the tackle. See it coming in right there. Excellent play. Now Honaker looks like they're going to leave the offense on the field here. Now we'll see if Peyton Music also could be the punter here. He is backed up a little further. Yeah, music will punt that one away. Yeah, Pete. Honaker saying, get away from the ball. It does take a Honaker bounce down to the 41-yard line. That's what the Rebels need to happen. They need to get a stop. Yeah, they got one in the first quarter. It's 2.03 to left. So they're going to be back to their running game in there with two tight ends. We'll be right back. 
Your Mountain Area Ford dealers are proud to recognize our News 5 Sports Scholar Athletes of the Week. From Patrick Henry High School, we have Sammy Mink. Mink played one year of soccer and has been a three-year letterman on the football team, helping his team earn the district championship as a starting left guard. In the classroom, Sammy is a member of the National Honor Society and has a cumulative GPA of 4.0. All scholar athletes have the opportunity to compete for a $5,000 scholarship to be awarded at the end of the season. We are ready to go here. There's 2.03 left in the first quarter. It's 8-8. Eight to eight. Both teams have had two possessions. They've each scored and they've each punted once. We have yet to see a pass from Patrick Henry. And this is going to be good speed. It lined up at quarterback. He's going to hand it off to Brown. Yeah, they uh, lined up in a wildcat formation that time, and the three halfbacks were on the right-hand side. So you'd think they, that's the strong side. They might uh, run it off tackle or outside, but they hand it off coming back the other way to Brown. And just really good play there by uh, Honaker. And then the secondary, Bandy coming up there and making the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, there's no gains, second and 10. And if you want to look at it in a sense, as if this is a tennis match, both teams have broken serve. So we're kind of back to where we started now. Third possession for Patrick Henry. It's a tie game. Good speed's going to get it on second and 10. He's got some room up the middle. Cameron, good speed. Look at the moves by good speed protecting that football. Inside the 30 for Cameron Goodspeed. Yeah, when you watch a replay of this, you can see he got up the middle with excellent block, and then he made two, million, two moves, and he was able to pick up about 20 more yards right here. Here's the first move right there, and then here's the second move. And then was able to get him from behind there. Slowed him down a little bit. Couldn't get the Jets going. But another big first down. That was a gain of 33 yards for Cameron Goodspeed, a Powell's first down. We're inside a minute remaining in the first quarter. This might be the last play of the first quarter. Brown is gonna keep it here. He gets two, and depending on when they get that clock started there, that uh, looks like they're gonna have to run one more yeah. play. One more play. There's about a three second difference between the play clock and game clock. Yeah, he's telling them to take their time. They're not in a hurry to turn around. They get their signals, play signal in from the sideline. Honaker has ran six plays in the first quarter. Second and eight, good speed is gonna get the carry. Again, breaking tackles, Cameron Goodspeed in for the touchdown for 25 yards. And I guess we'll have another play here in the first quarter because it's a touchdown for Goodspeed from 25 yards. Yeah, over there on that right-hand side, they were unbalanced that time. They had another lineman in over there. And you can see Goodspeed just hit it up in there. He actually got hit there by low, the linebacker, but he was able to bounce off that and then get on into the end zone for another touchdown. Now Patrick Henry is going to go with a traditional extra point this time. This will be Grant Buchanan. This one is up and that is perfect. So that makes it 15 to 8 with 8 seconds remaining in the first quarter. So Patrick Henry now for the first time has the lead. 15 to 8. Honaker landed the first punch in this game, Coach, but now Patrick Henry, they've hit the last couple punches. Yeah, just excellent blocking up front. That was all those guys over there on that right-hand side that time. Dunn, McFall, Mink, and then they had the wing back up there close to make it an unbalanced look. And then when you've got good speed, you give him the ball, and then he's going to find a hole and turn on the Jets for another touchdown. All right, we are in Virginia tonight, but Tennessee, their playoffs will be starting actually before Virginia, and right here in the Tri-City CW, we will have all nine state championship games for you. The Blue Cross Bowl, November 30th, December 1st, December the 2nd. We'll see if any teams from Northeast Tennessee make it to the state championship games in Chattanooga. Of course, Virginia, they are a week behind Tennessee. Their state championship games, if either of these teams make it, it'll be on December the 9th in Salem. Yeah, they've been holding the state championship game in Salem for a number of years now. They have the single A and double A on the same day. So one of these teams uh, got a good chance of being there. Cameron Goodspeed up to 117 yards rushing in the first quarter. Yeah, and he's probably over his eight yards of carry. McCannon's going to... Another squibber, this time Lowe has it. He's gonna have much better field position. Aiden Lowe 
is really going to have some good field position. Aiden Lowe still going inside Patrick Henry territory. He's going to be down inside the 35. That will be the end of the first quarter. So we'll be back with the second quarter. Patrick Henry on top of Honeaker, 15 to 8. Legend has it there was once a man who climbed the same mountain each morning, rewarding his summit with a smoky sausage biscuit from Pals. I love these savory, juicy Smokies. These mountains will henceforth be known as the Smoke. No, 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 Bird! No, please, come back! My Smokey! Locals say you can still hear his cries today. Pals, great food in a flash. All-wheel drive season is coming. Changes, weather, road conditions. What doesn't change? Toyota's capability to keep pushing on with trucks built to outlast and outlive any adventure, like the legendary 4Runner with over 40 years of off-road experience or the best-selling Tacoma with the best resale value in its class. Now get any new Tacoma with low 3.99 APR financing plus two years no-cost maintenance. Change is coming. Stay ahead with Tacoma. Toyota, let's go places. The Earth is 70% water and 30% land. But the entire sky belongs to us. When you're working on your game, recovering from an injury, or just having a little fun, the physicians at Buck Sports Medicine have all the tools to keep you at the top of your game. Trust ETSU's team physicians to give you the same expert care as they give our athletes. With state-of-the-art ultrasound and x-ray, as well as on-site physical therapy, Buck Sports Medicine has everything you need for injury prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Stay in the game with Buck Sports Medicine. You're watching Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by ETSU Health. Welcome back to the start of the second quarter. Honeaker starting this possession at the 32-yard line of Patrick Henry after Aiden Lowe had a very nice kick return. Honeaker went three and out. That does not happen very often. They're going deep on first down. Overshot as Peyton Music looking for his brother Avery. He was open, but a little overthrown. Yeah, had plenty of time that time. You can see that they stunted two linebackers over on the left-hand side of the offense, but they were able to pick them up. Music had time to throw the ball just a little too far. Second and 10 for the Honeaker Tigers, and looks like the rain has stopped, or if it is, it's just very lightly raining. It was coming down pretty good when we started things at seven o'clock. Maybe still raining a little bit, but not as much as it was about half an hour ago. Music is gonna try and run it on second down and he's gonna meet Mr. Tyler Barrett, the D1 prospect for Patrick Henry. And that's not one I wanna get into wrestling uh, match with. No, uh, Barrett made an awesome play coming off the block there, was able to tackle him right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, they had man coverage in the, on the outside that time and two safeties sitting back there. So it was a, a run play with five in the box. One of your linebackers went out and played heads up on the uh, number two receiver on that right-hand side. You can see now they're back in their 3-3 three, three stack. That was a loss of two, third and 12. Nice play there by Tyler Barrett, the junior. Music has a lot of time. He's going deep again. He overshoots his intended receiver. That time it was Parker Bandy. Yeah, Bandy number four had his man beat it. It's two times and just a little overthrow. Watch this play. Excellent blocking by the Honecker Tigers that time of picking up the stunt. They did a cross there in the middle and stunted the linebacker. Gave him plenty of time to throw the ball. Just a little long. When you have a quarterback maybe overthrowing, is that nerves a little bit hey, could be a little excitement uh, this game big game now you got fourth and ten they're going to go for it here certainly with this field position music has all time to throw now he's getting flushed out has to throw across his body what a diving catch 
that is by Parker Bandy. What a play on fourth and 12. That's enough for a first down. Yeah, what happened that time, once he started uh, scrambling, Bandy came on, on over across the field, found an open area. You can see music there looking around, sees him coming. There he is, excellent receiver. Very nice play by Parker Bandy. That's a big conversion. Remember that one on fourth and 12. Four, yeah, they needed that big time. Now over here on the, the top of the screen, you can see you got man-to-man -man coverage out there. No help from the safety. Aiden Lowe's going to get the handoff. He's going to try and cut it back inside. He's going to fall forward for maybe three yards. Yeah, pretty good contain that time out there on the outside. You'll see number 32, Landon Steele, coming up there on the outside. The stop him going wide. Was able, made him cut it up, but he was tackled there just for a couple yards gain. Second and eight for Honaker at the 14-yard line. Early stages, quarter number two here in Glade Spring, Virginia tonight. Honaker 7-0 on the season. Patrick Henry 5-2. A little swing pass. Almost intercepted. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a pick six. That yeah. was Cameron Goodspeed. Oh, yeah. He, he was sitting there. He read it well. They had a stun on in the middle once again. Music took his eyes off the cornerback. I mean, uh, outside linebacker that time. Came up, and it was, uh, he, he had it. Goodspeed can't believe that one went through his hands. Third and eight now for Honaker from the 14-yard line. It's going to be design run for Music. And it looks like he might be just a little short of the first down. We'll have to see, though, all the way on the far side. But it looks like he might be a little short. Yeah, I think he stepped out of bounds just before he got to the sticks there. So it's going to be fourth and really short. PH is putting in another lineman. They think they're going to run the ball. Honaker's trying to go, they're trying to go fast here. Get it set up there, they know what they want to do. Fourth and one for Honaker inside the 10. Linebacker moved up on the outside. Aiden Lowe on a design run there, I don't know if he got it. Hey, it's going to be close. That was some great defense there, stunting up there on the inside that time. PH is pointing that they, they stopped them, they got the football. Aiden Lowe, the running back, took a direct snap on that fourth and one play. And they're going to measure here. They're going to bring out the chains for a measurement. Yeah, what happened that time? They went out of that 3-3 stack, and an outside linebacker walked up on the line of scrimmage and it looked like guys were slaked to the inside, so they was able to put a stop on that run play. We're way away, but it looked like he was maybe a little short. And he is a stop by Patrick Henry. Yeah, inside their 10 yard line. So that's uh, a big star for PH right now. They needed a, they needed to stop him, keep him from tying up the ball game. Honaker comes up about a couple inches short of that first down. So now Patrick Henry has stopped Honaker for a second time. Another, another big play that time by linebacker Steele that time, number 33. He stepped up big on that drive, and so did Landon Steele, 32 and 33. Honaker stopped Patrick Henry on the first possession of the game, but since then they have not been able to hold this running game in check. Good speed on first down. He breaks through some tackles. Cameron, good speed. Yeah, I think that time what happened, he hit it up the inside. It was clogged off, so he just bounced it on the outside and was able to get up the sideline, pick up a big first down there. See right here, hitting inside, then heads outside. Yeah, he was able to get by the contain there. Flavor in the corner was coming up, and he got around him. A pal's first down for the Rebels. The probably only bad thing for Coach Pageant is he went out of bounds and stopped the clock. Yeah, got a lot of breathing room. You're inside the 10. Now you're out there to the 20-yard line. Makes a big difference. Just outside the 20. The fourth possession of the game for Patrick Henry. They've scored on the last two. Brown's going to take this one off the right side. He gets brought down by Bandy. Yeah, you can see that. Just really good blocking there on the inside. And uh, the contain man wasn't able to get upfield at all. He was blocked by the tight end that time. And then Brown just outside and up the field. Big yardage there. Wait there, we got a flag? Yeah, they've got a holding penalty, I think, against Patrick Henry. Might have been the guy I thought had a good block that time. The end. This will be the first penalty against Patrick Henry. 
in the game. Holding on the offense, number 78. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Replay the down. Yeah, 78. Uh, That's Barrett. Barrett. Uh, Barrett's on the inside there, so he, he unless they moved him to tackle that last play, uh, they called it on the guard. Usually that's on the guy on the end of the line of scrimmage. Usually you tie it in or tackle they get for that. Yeah, Barrett is the left guard for Patrick Henry. Now this is where they don't want to be first and 20. Yeah, and uh, right now the Tigers have got to come up with a big play and stop good speed from uh, gaining extra yardage after he's hit. Good speed breaks through one tackle. But there's a lot of Tigers on that play. Good pursuit. Yeah, they had some penetration on the line of scrimmage that time. And actually, the guy who came up here on the uh, left-hand side did an excellent job to stop him from going outside and keep him from running off tackle. Well, you can see right there, number 23 came up that time for uh, a PH to make a, a really good play out there. I believe Whited came up from his uh, uh, linebacker spot. See, he's in the game now. They're playing outside linebacker. Second and 20 for Patrick Henry. They're at their own 11, have to get out to the 31. And again, this is where Patrick Henry's defense has to get a stop. They're going to try a little misdirection here. Nicholas Hudson getting his first carry, and he picks up maybe three. Yeah, you can see that's sort of like a little crossbook action there uh, in the backfield to try to confuse the linebackers, but they were able to stay home. You see, coming right back in there, a little in inside handoff trap play. That play's actually designed to go just a little wider, but he cut it up early because there was a hole there, and they closed it off. Third and 17 for Patrick Henry. They have yet to attempt a pass in this game. We might not see one from him here in the first half. We might, we might see a... Uh, screen pass or a draw on this one. Now they do have one receiver out wide here by the sideline and Honeaker's running a man out there. I don't even believe they wanted to cover him. They didn't believe he was going to throw the ball. Good speed on third and 17. Looks like he's going to be short by, uh, he got back to maybe a little past the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be four to 10. If you can watch him run right here, he made a lot of people miss and got some extra yardage on his own. He had a, had a hole. And I think this play was designed to go outside or inside. Then he cuts outside, then back inside. You can see right there, a couple of them ran by him. And then we're able to get him down. Relo will be in the punt for a second time for Patrick Henry. Yeah, I don't think they'll be faking this when it's four back in their own territory. Fourth and nine for the Rebels. Two Tigers back at their own 45, waiting this punt. Bit of a high snap, but not a problem for Relo. He's 6'4". This one's going to bounce, and Aiden Lowe has some running room. And we're going to be back after this. You're watching Toyota's Friday Night Rivals. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store, beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. To Virginia Farm Bureau insurance agent Aaron Bostic, hometown means a lot. It means serving local communities in all of Southwest Virginia, which agent Aaron Bostic does. Aaron has been providing local service with a personal touch for years. Aaron Bostic is your local Virginia Farm Bureau agent who becomes your friend. For auto, for farm, for life. Call Aaron Bostic, 276-701-7625. Coming up at halftime, we have the Bank of Glade Spring and Bank of Honeaker Halftime Report. This game's so big, we needed two sponsors for the halftime show tonight. Honeaker getting ready for their fourth possession of the game. One touchdown, one punt, and one turnover on downs is the Patrick Henry mascot here. I think it's Mr. Henry himself. You didn't coach him, did you? Uh, no. Parker Bandy with a catch on first down. Looked like they were trying to run a little bubble screen over there on that right-hand side. You could see Cole, the tackle, was going to, to kick out the corner. 
PH did a good job on defense that time, uh, closing it down. Just a gain of one for Honaker. 15 to eight, Patrick Henry on top of the Tigers. Honaker scored first. The last 15 points have belonged to Patrick Henry. Coach Padgett has to be happy about that. Uh, working to his game plan right now. 6.50 remaining in the second quarter. Second and nine for the Tigers. PH bringing some pressure. Aiden Lowe on the reception. Aiden Lowe has some running room inside the 20, 15, 10. Aiden Lowe, his second touchdown of the night. This one, a 34-yard pass from Peyton Music. But there is a flag on the play, it looks like. Uh, they're saying we had a hold there about at the 20, 24-yard uh, line, so they they want to bring it back. Just on this play right here, they probably called on a wide receiver. Holding, number three on the offense. 10 yards from the spot of foul. Replay the down. Yeah, they were in a trips formation at that time. A little swing pass to the back, and uh, everybody else was blocking for him, and so they got music there for a hold on the outside that time. Avery Music, his first game back. He's been out. He's missed the last three games with a shoulder injury. Yeah, and I'm sure everybody on the sideline over here, including Coach Padgett, was hollering and holding. They're holding my cornerback. Looks like the ball is at the 34-yard line. Yeah, it's from the spot. That was a spot foul. Yeah, it was at the line of scrimmage. So I think it was second and nine, so pretty much like that play got wiped out. And they're going to fake the screen. Now they go right back to Aiden Lowe. He's inside the 30. Nice game here by Aiden Lowe. Yeah, you could see Hudson, uh, big number 62. He read it from the defensive end spot and was getting out there to help out on that tackle. Big man was moving fast that time. You see right here, uh, he takes off. The third good. and four. Yeah, good speed come up to, to initiate the tackle. And then Hudson finished him off. Big play here. Fake the handoff music across the middle. It's complete. Should be close to a first down right there. That's Aiden Lowe once again. I think he has that first down. Yeah, you can see he, he did a little set down route there and he actually threw his hand up in the air to tell music where he was located. Find me, we got a first down here is what he was saying. See right here, watch him come out, just curl into the inside, sets down there. Yeah, first down, move the chains. Aiden Lowe entered the game with five rushing touchdowns and five receiving touchdowns. 22 catches coming into the game. He's a really dual threat back. First down, Music has all kinds of time across the middle. Post pattern again, overthrows the receiver. That's Avery Music again. Yeah, he, uh, he knew it when he let loose of it. You can see his reactions there. Uh, quarterback music when he threw the ball. I think Avery was a little shaken up after that play there. He's going to check out of the game. Again, he's just coming back from a shoulder injury. He got up a little slowly after this one. Yeah, you can see he's got that left arm inside there. He lands on that uh, left shoulder. You can see it. Yep. Going over to the sideline to get worked on. Second and ten. Yeah, Tyler Stevens is out of the wide out this time on the left-hand side. And in the backfield, they got Die. Make the handoff, throw it. Complete at the 20. That's Parker Bandy. Yeah, another little set down route. I think what they're uh, they're going to be satisfied right now with those short routes. They're they're open. PH don't want to get beat deep, but they have got beat deep. But so far, it hasn't hurt them. So another set down route. Excellent run there by Bandy. Just a little hitch route. Third and five. As we approach five minutes remaining in the first half. Number two receivers covered up out here. You can see the corners way off the wide out. That's Aiden Lowe on the reception. That's going to be a first and goal as Aiden Lowe has been the favorite target so far for Peyton Music tonight. Yeah, I, I believe what this is right here, this is an excellent run route, but you can see him getting up limping just a little bit. Must have twisted that ankle. He just goes in there and sets down. He's going to stay in the ball game, but yes, Aiden Lowe looks a little shaken up. Yeah, I believe Hudson fell on his le leg that time. Homemaker's in the Toyota red zone for the first time in the ball game. Going to throw it back at the end zone. 
incomplete as Parker Bandy can't come up with that one. Yeah, they ran a little smash route there, a little corner route heading to the flag. See Music put it up there, just a little, little overthrown. See it come open right there. Good route by the outside man, kept the corner up there. So yeah, they've had some people open. Music's just a little off tonight. Overthrowing receivers. Aiden Lowe checked out of the game. So two of the starters out of the game currently right now for Honeaker. Music's gonna keep this one inside the five. That's gonna be third and goal now for Honeaker. Plenty of time left on the clock. So gets up the first down. Looking to the sideline for another play here. And no Aiden low, no Avery music in the game right now. They both been a little shaken up on this possession for Honeaker. Yeah, they got two new receivers over on the left-hand side. One's going in motion right now. Music's going to run it again. Use that big frame. He's going to carry it in for the touchdown. Peyton Music from three yards out makes it 15-14. Yeah, just great block it up front that time. You can see the center Sykes there. Left guard Gilbert and Music, the left tackle, all up getting a push. And he just hits up in there behind them. Able to get that forward body lane and get into the end zone. Now Aiden Lowe has checked back into the game as Honeaker will go for two here again to try and retake the lead. 12 there, Aiden Lowe, you see him. He still doesn't look 100%, but he's coming back out for this two-point conversion. Yeah, good speed's up on him a little more than he was. Of course, you're down there at the goal line now. Makes a big difference. Low in motion. Music throws it. Incomplete. A great, great defense there that time. I, I believe Brown might have been the guy over there that knocked that ball away. We'll take a timeout. Patrick Henry on top of Honeaker, 15-14 on Friday Night Rivals. Song of the Mountains at the Lincoln Theater in Marion, Virginia will feature the country music of Leroy Parnell on Saturday, November 4th. Special guests will be the Burnett Sisters and their fantastic bluegrass sounds. For tickets and info, visit songofthemountains.org. So you have a good job, steady, dependable income, and a good credit rating. But you just haven't been able to save enough money for a down payment on the new home your family needs and deserves. Good news, hundreds of families just like yours are now enjoying life in their new home thanks to a no down payment, no PMI home loan from the Bank of Marion. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. News 5 is always on the clock, gathering information. To get you up to speed. On what happened overnight and the news to start your day. I'm tracking the next weather maker to keep you ahead of severe conditions. Get caught up. The moment you wake up. On News 5 Today. Welcome back. Coming up in the fourth quarter, we'll have our Toyota drive of the game. The way this game is going, there's a good chance that drive has yet to happen. But that'll be coming up in the fourth quarter. That last scoring drive for Honeaker, 10 plays, 31 yards to three minutes, nine seconds off the clock. So I guess for Honeaker, that's kind of a slow drive there. Yeah, but the main thing about it, Coach Tiller is happy with it. Uh, they got into the end zone. They needed those points to get back in the ball game here. They missed the two-point conversion, though, so it's 15-14. Patrick Henry, the Rebels, kicked an extra point after their second touchdown. Honecker's gone for two both times, and they're one for two. PH, they're going to return one for the first time. This is Brown out across the 30, spins out across the 40. Alex Brown, the quarterback, is not often you see quarterbacks returning kicks. No, but that's the reason he's back there. You can see it right there. They had him tackled, looks like, at about the 35-yard line. He did a little spin move, able to get away from him and get on up the field. So he's going to be out there close to the 45-yard line to, uh, to start the offense. Of course, now with 3.39 on the clock, we might see PH speed it up just a little bit on offense. Their dream scenario, though, would be scoring a touchdown with one second left in the half. Yeah. Run that clock and get some points on the board. Both teams have had four possessions. They've each scored two touchdowns. A little different formation here for Patrick Henry on first down. They got a big lineman out in the backfield there behind good speed, and he's going to fall forward 
pick up four. Yeah, just checked into the ball game right then. Uh, you, like you said, a big lineman back there. It's number 78 that checked in there. I believe that was Barrett. They had they moved him to the backfield that time. We got a penalty Barnett. flag on the Honeaker sidelines. Tyler Barnett moved to the backfield that time, looked like. They moved the other lineman into the game. Hey, y'all are good. Have a little conference here. There is no flag on the play for illegal formation. All right, so we'll pick it up. Yeah, I thought a lineman lined up in the backfield there when they when they see uh, when they see uh, Tyler Barrett back there, in number 78, but he's actually back there as a blocking back. And they got two tight ends. You can see uh, two guys in there, tight tackles. They're in there foot to foot. Really not in a hurry to, to run this play. As a game of four on first down, second and six, play clock down to five. It's down to two. They're using every second good speed. Making a couple of cuts again. He's going to first down. Boy, he is so shifty back there. Yeah, if you uh, if you follow 78 this time, you can see good speeds right on his tail there, going up through there. Just excellent block. And you can see the push down the field right here, and he just keeps right behind him. Yeah, we had good block in there at the point of attack, able to get a first down. We are now under three minutes remaining in the first half. Coach Pageant there. See, he's not in a hurry. He's happy the way things are going right now, as long as they can keep the ball on offense and move the chains. Patrick Henry has not attempted a pass. This time, good speed selling his lineman. Get out of my way. Yeah, he was giving him a little shove there. He's not used to running behind uh, Tyler there, I, I'm guessing. You see Bear like, what do you want me to do? I'm, I'm moving. <laughs> yeah, he was telling him to get up through there, get up through the uh, offensive line there, get on downfield there, you get, get you a linebacker, knock him out of the way. If you're a linebacker or a corner, outside backer, you see uh, Tyler coming at you, it's like, wow. Bear is 6'3", 305. Now they're going to run good speed to the left. And Aiden Lowe is trying to bring him down. It's going to be third down now for Patrick Henry. Yeah, he bounced off the first guy there. Like you said, Lowe from behind there was able to bring him down. Once again, uh, Barrett was coming up through there blocking. You can see he's pushing his man down the field. That time, I think he had a hold of Claiborne, uh, the uh, outside backer. Third and a long three for the Rebels. Good speed. This time he's going to lose yard as Malachi Low with the tackle. Now Honaker is going to call a timeout. Coach Tiller running onto the field. Uh, yeah, what you see that time, they had uh, nine guys in the box and they were coming hard from the outside. And Malachi Low was able to get him off this left hand side here. Bam, there he comes. And a lot of other Tigers helped out. So that's a loss of two. It's fourth and five. Honaker's taking the timeout because they're thinking we get a stop here, we get the ball back. So Honaker are down to two timeouts. Patrick Henry has their full complement of three. Fourth and five. You get to throw a pass. Are you leaning on good speed in the ground game here? Hey, uh, I think we, what we might see, if we're going to see a pass, uh, we'll see a play action pass, like you said. Uh, he's going to fake it to good speed and uh, hit one of his tight ends. So far, we haven't seen a tight end or anybody go out for a pass tonight so we, we might be a little surprised here on the season Alex Brown has attempted just 44 passes in seven games well it's the I don't, well I guess he doesn't supposed to throw one this game then <laughs> 44 for the season I mean that's about six passes a game they yeah time. yeah so far here in the first half in a minute 30 to go uh, no passes of course coach Padgett's really happy the way the offense has been moving and getting those first downs. Patrick Henry's offense back on the field here. Play clock is down to seven. Same formation. Let's see if they snap it here. They it's do. A, it's going to be good speed on the ground. He's got the first down. And more on good speed. Needed five. He got seven. Yeah, just running off that left hand side. You see now they're uh, speeding up the offense. What's up going into the game? So this tells me that. Uh, Barrett would be back on the line of scrimmage. How many teams on fourth and five will run the football? That's what Patrick Henry's committed. Good speed this time. He only gets about two yards. And now Coach Padgett's going to call a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout. 1-11 left in the first half. You're watching Friday Night Rivals.
Toyota and your local Toyota dealer are combining resources to support our area high schools. We stand together as community partners for our high school athletes and their families to help schools and students get the most out of their high school years. Toyota is proud to join News 5 WCYB, Fox 39 WEMT, and Tri-City CW to provide each host team with a charitable donation to their school. Proudly presented by Toyota and your local Toyota dealer. Tonight's donation goes to the Patrick Henry Rebels. U.S. Air Force fan cam. Some students on the Patrick Henry sidelines. Maybe a little hot chocolate. This is a good night for hot chocolate. A real good night for hot chocolate. Warm things up. 1-11 left in the first half. Patrick Henry took a timeout. They have two remaining. That's the, maybe the one negative, though, of course, I mean, good speed can take it to the house from anywhere, but their offense not really conducive to hurry up and 111. It's not a lot of time left. Yeah, you could see that everybody's in the box this time. Nine guys in the box there for Patrick Henry. Good speed I mean, on second down. I mean, nine guys in the box for Honecker there, and you can see the linebacker coming up there to make a tackle that time. Looked like number 33 on defense. Getting up in there hard. That was McLaughlin once again. They're right back on the ball to go again. Patrick Henry now we're under a minute. It's third and seven from the 29. Bit of a bobbled snap. Good speed. He has the first down carrying defenders inside the 20. Coach Pageant's calling another timeout. Yeah, they couldn't get a hold of him. He kept those legs a pumping. And once again, they pulled a guard over there from that left hand side and coming over to the right. Able to get the block and good speed says, give me the ball again. Cameron Goodspeed on third and seven, picks up the first down. 43 seconds left. Patrick Henry has one timeout left. So you can still run the ball here. Oh yeah, you got plenty of time to run it when you got, and you got a timeout. You don't even have to run it wide. You could run it up the middle again like they did right then. I was thinking we might see a wider play coming up here. Would that be something they could do here? Say, hey, run it right and get out of bounds? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just that same play that he just ran. They're running off tackle. He's cutting it up because they're kicking out. Uh, Lyman pulling from the opposite side. Kicking out Danny. Excellent, excellent block there on that last play. Good speed. He follows his blockers well. First and 10 from the 17-yard line for Patrick Henry. They're inside the Toyota red zone. Again, just one timeout for the Rebels, and they have yet to attempt to pass tonight. Yeah, went back to the Wildcat formation. Got three blockers over here on this right-hand side. Unbalanced line. Good speed. The direct snap. He's going to fall forward. Only picks up three yards. Coach Pageant is yelling to get on the ball. Get on the ball. They got the second play already called. This is where one of those plays where you might see a pass if they practice it here in the last couple of weeks. All right, 15 seconds have been off the clock here. They're inside 25. Good speed running it again. And then Malachi Lowe brings it down. They got to call the timeout now. Yeah, he came off that left end once again. Got by the blockers. Was able to bring good speed down for a loss the yardage that time yeah, he's gonna let it run down here maybe set up a field goal and go into the locker room here coach pageant with the official taking it down and he says a timeout with 1.8 seconds left so it looks like they're gonna bring it. they do have a good kicker Buchanan has a good leg he made a 44 yarder I think against Holston a couple weeks ago and the balls at the 15 yard line so it looks like it's going to be a, what, 27-yard uh, field goal? No, uh, that would be 32-yard uh, 32. 32 field goal. Probably where they'll spot it on about the 22 yards. If, if they kick it, I mean, I, you would assume they're going to. Maybe, maybe a fake. Might have been what they practiced. The cannon's number seven. I do see him in the huddle. Yeah, he went on the field. I'm sure Honecker's going to put some pressure on it coming from the outside, but they'll have to leave somebody back in order uh, to take on the fake if they're going to throw it to a tight end or a wing back. And before the game, did talk to a member of the staff for Patrick Henry, of course, with the kicking game tonight. The footing is something of a concern with the wet field. If they got mud in the cleats at all, that was something on the plant foot they were worried about. So we'll keep an eye on that here. As and he, he's kicking off the ground. He's not kicking off a tee. This will be a 32-yard field goal. Now, Honaker's going to try and ice him a little bit here, and Coach Tiller's going to take a timeout. That's his last timeout of the half. 
Yeah, just, uh, you know, a lot of high school kickers kick off a team with uh, as wet as it is tonight, you know, he's not getting an advantage because he has no tee. It's just like a college or pro kicker kicking off the ground. McCannon is a junior. So a big play right here. If you're on Honeaker's side of the field and you get a block here, you want to scoop it a score. But right now, the, I, can, I can tell you, PH is going to be gapping down if they're going to kick this thing. If you're Patrick Henry, you know you're going to, barring a block return, you're going to go into the locker room with a lead. The question is whether it's a one-point lead or a four-point lead. See, Browns are holding, so you got your quarterback to holding. 32-yard field goal attempt for Grant Buchanan. That kick is up, and it is good. Grant Buchanan, a beautiful 32-yard field goal to end the first half. That makes it 18-14. Patrick Henry, the Rebels' little momentum going to locker. That had plenty of distance. That would have been good from 42. Oh, yeah, just an excellent snap, excellent hold, and he got his foot into it. Uh, through the uprights, give him a four-point lead going into halftime. Seth Pageant, head coach of the Rebels, will make his way over. We'll get a quick word with him before we head to the break. He has to be pleased with the way his team has played in the first half with an 18-14 lead over the Honeaker Tigers after Grant McCannon with a 32-yard field goal as we head to the break. An entertaining first half, 18-14, Patrick Henry on top of Honeaker. And Seth Pageant, the head coach of the Patrick Henry Rebels, joining us now. And coach, your first half, Cameron Goodspeed, can you describe what he did in the first half of your team? Man, he was a man at uh, first half. Uh, you know, if we could ever get any field position, you know, we've not had it the entire half. Uh, you know, I think that's gonna be key in this second half. Yeah, Coach, but you got to be uh, really pleased with your defense performance, only giving up 14 points in the first half. Man, they, they played great. You know, like we said all year, Ben, but don't break, and they didn't. Yeah, big stop inside the 10-yard line down there. That was a huge stop. So, yeah, but listen, far from over because they can score at any time on any play. Finally, Coach, last one for you. How about your kicker, Buchanan? How much confidence do you have in him to put him out there at the end of the half? Oh, I have total confidence in him. You know, he's, he's so good. He's so good. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Best of luck in the second half. Thank you, guys. All right, that is Seth Pageant, head coach of the Patrick Henry Rebels. His team on top, 18-14. We'll be back on Friday Night Rivals. ETSU Health's tradition of caring for our community has deep roots. You see, we are more than healthcare workers. We're a proud part of this community. That's why you'll find us serving in your schools and joining the festivities at community events like these. We're here to help our community thrive. We're cultivating wellness, celebrating our roots, and growing our families alongside yours. Whether at a clinic or the next community event, come see us. We're here for you. First Sentinel Bank has nine branches throughout the communities of southwestern Virginia and southern West Virginia. And for every locality, First Sentinel is all in with helping our neighbors achieve their financial goals. Endeavoring to be a partner in the growth and success of the people and businesses in our local communities. First Sentinel has built a 45-year reputation of listening to and helping the people in our communities. After all, we are local people serving local people. First Sentinel Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This is your game. And when you want to stream your game, slow internet won't do. Nay, your game requires the robust, steady speeds of point broadband fast internet and rock-solid Wi-Fi. Can't watch the game on cable? Switch to streaming on point broadband fiber internet. Catch football and other stuff with no waiting. Switch to point broadband today. All-wheel drive season is coming. Changes, weather, road conditions. What doesn't change? Toyota's commitment to giving you the freedom to explore. With more all-wheel drive choices, like the family size Highlander, the most dependable SUV in its class. Now get a new Highlander with low 3.99 APR financing or 4.99 on an electrified Highlander hybrid, plus two years no-cost maintenance. Change is coming. Stay ahead with Highlander. Toyota. Let's go places.
Welcome to the Bank of Glade Spring and Bank of Honeaker Halftime Report. At halftime here in Glade Spring, Patrick Henry leading undefeated Honeaker 18-14 at halftime. Time now for a message from our friends at ETSU Health. Jones, you have a long history with Quillen College of Medicine and ETSU Health. Do you mind to share some of that and what it is that you love about the region and ETSU that's kept you here? Yeah, so I'm from Bristol, um, so this is home for me. So I went to ETSU for undergrad, I went to medical school here with ETSU Quillen College of Medicine. I went to residency here and I loved it so much I decided to stay. Um, this is just home. The mountains are beautiful, the seasons are beautiful. Um, the families and the community here is a tight kit, tight knit community. Um, I just love it here. It's home. Now, um, you are a pediatrician within our ETSU Health Pediatrics Elizabethan Clinic. What can you share about that location? Yeah, so I'm very excited to be there. Um, it's a newer clinic, and so we are still kind of smaller and we're growing. Um, but we have everything that ETSU has to offer. We have um, someone who can do labs. We can orders, anything that you could think of, but it is a smaller clinic, and so we get to know our patients really well. And do you have any advice for parents as we enter into the fall and winter seasons? Yeah, so we are entering into the virus sick season, especially as kids are going back to school, so now is a great time to come in and get their well child checks, but also make sure that they have their vaccines and their flu shot um, and sick visits as well. We're also happy to see for anything that they need. The Air Force fan cam tonight at Patrick Henry. Fans enjoying a little snack here at halftime. It's a good one. 18-14, Patrick Henry over Honeaker. The Bank of Glade Spring, Bank of Honeaker halftime report rolls on after this. All trophies and plaques for WCYB's Friday Night Rivals are provided by Eddie's Trophies and Gift Shop in Bristol. Eddie's Trophies also offers medals, plaques, acrylics, glass, and crystal pieces for your business, school, or sports team. That's Eddie's Trophy and Gift Shop online at eddiestrophies.com. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand-cut in-store, beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. This is your game. Can't watch the game on cable? Switch to streaming on Point Broadband Fiber Internet, and all is right with the world. Stream better. Switch to Point Broadband today. Imagine buying a home with no down payment. Imagine buying that home without the added expense of private mortgage insurance. We're the Bank of Marion, and our no down payment, no PMI home loan has put hundreds of families throughout the region in their own homes. If your family has steady employment, dependable income, and a good credit rating, you may qualify for our no down payment, no PMI home loan. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. Since 1936, Modern Chevrolet in Honeaker has put thousands of people in the region into cars and trucks. You might be thinking, how has a dealership continued to operate for over 80 years? By treating people right. Also, if you need a trailer, truck bed, or other equipment, the Modern Supercenter on Highway 19 in Lebanon provides 10 acres of choices. Check out our websites, modernchevrolet.com and modernsupercenter.com to see our inventory at both locations. If we don't have it, we'll work hard to find it for you. You're watching the Bank of Glade Spring and Bank of Honeaker Halftime Report. Patrick Henry on top of undefeated Honeaker 18-14 in halftime. The Tennessee Army National Guard joining us now for a special segment here tonight. The Tennessee Army National Guard. For this 2023 uh, Friday Night Rivals season, we're uh, proud to announce once again that the Tennessee Army National Guard is our coin toss sponsor for the entire season. And with me today is Sergeant Chris Badley. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the education 
uh, pieces of what the Guard does for people coming out of high school. Absolutely, and thank you again for inviting us to do this again this year. We enjoy it. You know, a little nerve-wracking being on TV, but this is fun. Uh, our incentives for high school students and, and prospective um, college students is vast. We have a ton of them. So we have federal tuition assistance. We have extra credentialing assistance for students that want to um, expand their uh, horizon with their careers. But our major incentive in Tennessee that's unique to us is the Tennessee Strong Act. If you want to go to a public school in the state of Tennessee, we'll pay 100% of your tuition for it. And so that's huge for, for high school students because college is not cheap anymore. And so we want to help them out. And so the state, through the drive to 55, the governor wants to make sure that his soldiers have an opportunity to get that, that college paid for. That is huge because, uh, you know, we hear so many stories about kids coming out of, school, uh, out of college and stuff. They're full of debt. Oh, absolutely. And so this just eliminates that and gives them a great opportunity. Oh, very true. Yes, no debt is perfect. Time now to take a look at some of the top plays from around the country last week on Thursday Night Lights and Friday Night Rivals. The best Thursday Night Lights and Friday Night Rivals highlights from across the country. Cotterill, the West Point commit. West Asher looking to make a shot downfield. He finds his man. It was Ethan Renu, the sophomore, making the biggest play of his season. This could very well be the ball game. Drill looking to get within one with the touchdown. Look at the same pass to the other side right there and caught. Touchdown, Drill. He's able to run. Oh, and he's leveled. It's Xavier Jones again. Throwing deep. It tipped. He got it. And caught by Charleston. Touchdown. He fell, but he's in. In the backfield, bit of a bad snap. It went wild, but Robertson takes it himself and finds it. He's got the touchdown. This kid makes things happen when not everything's going right. It'll be fielded right at the goal line, and the Clemens Buffaloes bring it out across midfield and break it. Across the 35 to the 40, down the sideline, and gone. An opening night. Touchdown return. Here's Miles Davis. This kid is a Texas A&M commit. He is the real deal. He finds a seam. He's breaking it across the 30 to the 35. He's still on his feet. <laughs> Watch out. Me. Davis to the 40. Gets a block. Got to get one more. Touchdown. You're watching the Bank of Glade Spring and Bank of Honeaker Halftime Report. When it comes to the analysis of what really happened in the Vols game, nobody knows it better than the players. The men who wore the orange. And the players that wear the orange today. That's why we partnered up with the players. Join us each week for the Volunteer Club Locker Room, powered by Spire Sports. Analysis from the guys who played here and still play here today. Watch the Volunteer Club Locker Room, Sunday night at 11 on Fox 39 WEMT. So you have a good job, steady, dependable income, and a good credit rating. But you just haven't been able to save enough money for a down payment on the new home your family needs and deserves. Good news. Hundreds of families just like yours are now enjoying life in their new home. Thanks to a no down payment, no PMI home loan from the Bank of Marion. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. There's a new flavor in Hardy's Craft Kitchen. Nashville hot chicken. Juicy 100% white meat dipped in buttermilk, hand breaded and seasoned to bring the heat. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? New Nashville hot is goodness in the making. Real people, real reviews. Love the selection at Zach's. There is something for everyone. We had a great experience buying our leather sectional from Zach's. Google and Facebook can't be wrong. Come see why Zach's has thousands of five-star reviews. More than any other furniture store in the entire Southeast. Five-star reviews on our selection, on our prices. Five-star reviews on our mattresses. And right now, get 10% off your entire purchase. Or get 0% financing for 24 months. You gotta get to Zach's. 
If you don't dispose of the unused or expired medication in your home, they might find a new one. Medication could end up stolen or simply misused. Keep them safe, clean them out, take them back on Saturday, October 28th. Visit one of seven locations in Sullivan County and help keep our community safe and healthy. You're watching the Bank of Glade Spring and Bank of Honeaker Halftime Report. Tonight's school spotlight is brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. So quadrant two because we're going left five and then up three. So yes, we should be able to say that this is in quadrant two. I come from a family of teachers. My husband's a teacher. My mom's a vision teacher for this school district and the neighboring school district. I find joy independently learning. So if it's a conversation with a colleague, I am learning something new, I'm engaged that way. Um, I find joy when learning makes sense to my students. So an important point. So in a circle, it's the center. On a parabola, it's the vertex. So then what does that R represent in that equation? I get to try new approaches to learning and it keeps me engaged every single day because it's definitely new every single day. It's going to be a lot of trigonometry, which we all haven't necessarily seen before, but when you took geometry, you did right triangle trigonometry. So whenever Pythagorean theorem didn't work, you learned how to use trig. We might try something and it might not work out, but we've got to have the resilience to keep trying that um, we can use grit to find solutions to whatever our futures involve. Thanks for watching the Bank of Glade Spring and Bank of Honeaker Halftime Report. Trick or Treat Trivia, it's your chance to win. Just watch News 5 today at 6, look for the QR code to enter, answer correctly, and you could win the daily prize of a $100 Visa gift card or be in a drawing for the $5,000 weekly winner. Complete contest rules at WCYB.com. First Sentinel Bank has nine branches throughout the communities of southwestern Virginia and southern West Virginia. And for every locality, First Sentinel is all in with helping our neighbors achieve their financial goals. Endeavoring to be a partner in the growth and success of the people and businesses in our local communities. First Sentinel has built a 45-year reputation of listening to and helping the people in our communities. After all, we are local people serving local people. First Sentinel Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. To Virginia Farm Bureau insurance agent Aaron Bostic, hometown means a lot. It means serving local communities in all of Southwest Virginia, which agent Aaron Bostic does. Aaron has been providing local service with a personal touch for years. Aaron Bostic is your local Virginia Farm Bureau agent who becomes your friend. For auto, for farm, for life. Call Aaron Bostic, 276-701-7625. At the Tiger Stop, convenience is what we do. We make it easy to get your tank filled, whether that's gas or food. You'll find your favorite beverages and snacks, and we'll cook to order some tasty treats. Daily specials and service with a smile will always be found at the Tiger Stop in Oneacre. Since 1936, Modern Chevrolet in Honeaker has put thousands of people in the region into cars and trucks. Need a trailer, truck bed, or other equipment? The Modern Supercenter on Highway 19 in Lebanon provides 10 acres of choices. Check out our websites to learn more. Catch the biggest plays and final scores on Friday Night Huddle with the News 5 sports team every Friday night during News 5 at 11. Sponsored by Ingalls, Champion Chevrolet, Citizens Bank, and Pals. Welcome back, Patrick, Patrick Henry on top of Honeaker 18-14 as the halftime report rolls on. Time now for some first half highlights, and there were a lot of them. Honeaker struck first, Peyton Music with a 43-yard touchdown pass to Aiden Lowe. Honeaker went for two, that made it eight to nothing, but Patrick Henry got that ground game going. Cameron Goodspeed answers, coach. Yeah, he does, and you can see right there with the fake inside, got outside, was able to get an end zone for six points. And then good speed again, this time his second touchdown that made it 15 to eight. Patrick Henry Honeaker though then comes back. Peyton Music on the quarterback keeper makes it 15 14. And then right before halftime, Grant Buchanan with a 32 yard field goal 
makes it 18-14 as we look at these stats here. Honaker, total yards 105, 202 for Patrick Henry. Time of possession more than two to one in favor of the Rebels in the first half. And Todd Tiller, the head coach of the Honaker Tigers, going to be joining us here momentarily to get his thoughts as his team gets ready for the second half. And coach joining us now, coach, What's the story for your offense in the first half? Is it a story of missed opportunities? Yeah, we've had uh, opportunities there, just kind of missed on a couple of throws there that we've had and, uh, you know, just trying to settle down a little bit there, you know, not letting the weather affect us. Yeah, Coach, I know you got to be pleased coming out here in the second half. You get the ball first. Oh, yeah, I'm very excited about that. That's a good thing for us. Yeah, I know you, uh, you're you getting good protection. Your quarterback's getting protection there. Your offensive line's doing a good job picking up the stunts tonight. Yeah, we've done a great job of picking up their stunts, and he's got plenty of time back there. Like I said, we just had a couple miscues on the, throwing the ball there a little over top of the head a couple times. Yeah, the guys have been open, but just could, yep. couldn't get him the ball. Yep. And then defensively, good speed. Uh, how do you contain him in the second half? You know, we got we got gang tackle. You know, we've let him squirt loose there a few times. We've just got to wrap him up and get people to the ball there and, uh, you know, try to slow them down and uh, limit their time. All right, Coach, thank you for your time and best of luck in the second half. Appreciate it. All right, that's Todd Tiller, head coach of the Honeacre Tigers. The Sky 5 drone, now it is up. The rain has gone away, so for the first time in the game, we can say hello to Keith Roberts and Jason Hutchinson flying the Sky 5 drone powered by Guardian Foundation Repair. As the Honeacre Tigers, they're out on the field and they're ready to go, and Patrick Henry's just making their way out of the locker room. Of course, they put the three minutes when it's 20 minutes on the clock at halftime. Then when that runs out, you put three more minutes on to give them a stretching time, and then uh, you go there. So we're still going to be about three minutes away from getting underway here in the second half. And as you mentioned, Honeacre will get the ball first. So what do you think the message was to the team by Coach Tiller at halftime. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, say, hey guys, just like he's talking about their defense, they they need to gang tackle. They, they've had good speed wrapped up a few times, and he's able to get out of it. And so what they have to do is put uh, put pressure on the ball by getting more people to the ball. And then on offense, you know, the, the quarterbacks had plenty of time to throw the ball. Just got to be a little more accurate to overthrowing some of those deep routes. All right, we'll take our final time out of the halftime show. We'll be back in the third quarter after this. Heather Williams, join me, Cole Johnson, and Steve Wilmoth of ESPN Tri-Cities and TriCitiesSports.com for Prep Picks. We will highlight the key matchup to choose our winners for the week, Prep Picks, every Wednesday on News 5 at 5.30. The Virginia High Bearcats versus the Lebanon Pioneers are Toyota's Friday night rivals. Friday, October 27th on the Tri-City CW. Toyota's Friday night rivals, presented by ETSU Health. Outstanding plays are made by outstanding players. I'm News 5's Andrew McClung. Join me every Wednesday during News 5 at 6 and 11 to find out who will be named our Player of the Week. News 5 Sports Player of the Week is sponsored by Toyota. Catch the biggest plays and final scores on Friday Night Huddle with the News 5 Sports team every Friday night during News 5 at 11. Sponsored by Ingalls, Champion Chevrolet, Citizens Bank, and Pals. Welcome back to Patrick Henry High School. The rain has stopped. The Sky 5 drone is out as we're getting ready for the second half here between 5 and 2. Patrick Henry 7 and 0. Honeaker. These two teams both looking for multiple home playoff games perhaps once we get into the region 1D playoffs in a couple of weeks. Honeaker, of course, number one seed, but Cameron Goodspeed and Patrick Henry, they are leading this game, and he has been the workhorse running back, and I'm sure he had 30 carries in the first half, and he may get close to 50 in this game. Uh, without a doubt, uh, he's their he's their offense. Uh, give it give it to good speed and get a little block, and he's going to make some people miss and uh, get extra yards after that. So he's had an excellent first half of uh, running the football. On the other side, the quarterback for Honeaker, Peyton Music, coming into the game, 32 touchdowns one interception he did throw for one touchdown in the first half so he's up to 33 he did also run one in as well yeah and he's got uh, you know coming out here in the second half just coach tiller you know he's on offense there first and they're excited to get the ball back in their hands and see what they can do and they got four receivers that are averaging 15 yards or more per catch so uh, he's got some good targets to go with 
If you're Seth Padgett, what was the message to the team at halftime about you coming out on defense for first? We got a lead over the unbeaten Tigers. Hey, guys, we've stopped them here in the first half. We stopped them when they were at their best. They were inside our 10-yard line. We got to stop them. We can do it the rest of the game. He's been all positive in there at halftime. We're right where we wanted to be. We wanted to be ahead at halftime. We got a lead here by four points. We're going to continue to hold that here in the second half. So he's trying to be positive on his side of the field. Coach Tiller's doing the same thing on the other side. Said, hey, guys, we're getting the ball out. First thing in the third quarter, we can go down and score and get back and take the lead in this ball game. As we get ready for the second half, hopefully, again, the rain looks like it is. There's still some out there, but not imminently close so hopefully we can get in this final two quarters without any more rain coming down tonight as Patrick Henry will kick off to start the second half uh, we're probably going to see the same type of kick we did in the first half it's not going to be high it's going to be low uh, get it on the ground hopefully it takes a bad bounce uh, that's what PH is thinking of course Honeakers want to get their hands on it and get up field as fast as they can Aiden Lowe's had a couple of good returns for Honeaker. Grant Buchanan had that 32-yard field goal to end the first half. He's going to kick off this time a high pooch kick. They changed it up a little bit. Honeaker's got a couple of players that were fighting over that ball. Yeah, I think Bandy, he wanted to get over here and get a hold of that. And uh, we might have seen him reverse the field on that. But they got excellent field position outside the 30-yard line. So that's one adjustment we've already seen from Patrick Henry go the first time the high short kick. Yeah, just to hide. Got everybody down there really quick so they can make the tackle. Uh, we'll, we'll give it to you around the 30-yard line. So you can see they come out uh, immediately with the trips to the wide side of the field for the Tigers. Balls at the 34-yard line for Honeaker. There's Aiden Lowe in motion. They're going to hand it off to Jackson Die for the first time. And Jackson Die, his first carry, he picks up six, maybe seven. Yeah, I think you can see that maybe Lowe was limping just a little bit. It looked like he wasn't uh, running like he usually does coming across the field that time in motion. And Die carrying the ball. Good run on first down. And I do not see Avery Music out there. He left the game in the second quarter when he fell looking for a touchdown pass. It was overthrown, but he kind of landed on that shoulder, and he missed the last three games with a shoulder injury. Yeah, that was down there in the end zone. So he's, he's not been back in. We got twins to both sides this time. Peyton Music is going to run it. He's trying to break a tackle there. He does. He gets the first down as Nicholas Hudson was in pursuit, but good job by Music to get the first down. Yeah, I was able to get outside of it. Uh, stopped the clock, got out of bounds, got a first down. The most important thing about it. That's what happens when you run to your side of the field. People catch you. You don't run into the bench. On the other side, they step outside <laughs> and let you go. Yeah, they move outside, maybe give you a push once in a while. There's Avery Music. You see him. He's behind there, but he's sitting down on the bench, so he still doesn't look like someone who's going to be coming into this game in the second half. Peyton Music, a quick throw on first down to Parker Bandy, and he takes a big hit on the sideline. Yeah, we seen that play earlier tonight. Uh, but the lineman didn't get out there to block. That time he was able to get out there and block, and uh, so he was able to get up field right here. But you can see good pursuit coming from the inside this time right there by the by the linebacker, number 32, Steele. Laid a lick on him. Yeah, Landon Steele with a big hit there. Those guys are wearing 30 do not mean business, 32 and 33. 33 Ben Jenkins, both linebackers for PH. Second and two for Honaker after a gain of eight by Parker Bandy. Another quick throw. Again, it's the Bandy, but I don't think he had the first down there. No, the, uh, you can see this time uh, coming up there on the outside, the cornerback and as well as the lineman getting out there, uh, making the stop. That's Jeff Stewart, number 12. Yeah, Stewart's just a freshman out there playing cornerbacks, doing an excellent job tonight. It's baptism by fire. There's a couple of freshmen in the secondary for Patrick Henry, and if you can hang in there against Honeaker, you can hang in there against anybody in Southwest Virginia in terms of throwing the ball. They're going to give it to Aiden Lowe on third and short. Aiden Lowe's cut it outside. Some nice blocking by the receivers, and Lowe's down near the Patrick Henry 25. Yeah, and Brown made a really good tackle on him down there about the 25-yard line. You can see Lowe getting outside, put a little move, got up field, had good blocking. Big play there. As third and two, and Aiden Lowe, again, he does not look like he's moving at 100% either. Now, I believe Honecker's banged up in a few positions tonight. 
without Avery Music, if there's anything to say, is they did play the last three games without him, so they are used to playing without him here recently as Die gets this first down carry for Honeaker. Yeah, you look that time, the PH defense, they only had five guys in the box that time, and Honeaker was able to take advantage on that. They'd moved a linebacker out on one of the trips on the far side. You can see right here, he comes around, gets up field, picks up another first down. Honeaker on the ground the last couple plays here with Lowe and then Die. We wonder Jackson Die. He's already got two carries here in the first half. He had, or second half. He had none in the first half. Yeah, they moved back in there that time. They had uh, uh, six guys in the box. We got a touchdown for Honeaker. Parker Bandy, a 16-yard touchdown reception from Peyton Music. What a play right there. Nice concentration by Bandy on the catch. Yeah, that's just what Coach Tiller was talking about, uh, the timing route. And uh, he put it right on the money that time, Music did. Bandy pulled it in. Got another touchdown right here. That would have been good in the NFL. We got two feet down there for Parker Bandy. And Honeaker will go for two. Once again, they're up 20 to 18. So they went into halftime down four. If they get this conversion, they'll go to half in the second half. They'll be up four. Music drops it. Now he's going to have to throw it away. It's incomplete. So Honeaker retakes the lead. We'll take a timeout. Tigers 20, Rebels 18 on Friday Night Rivals. The Lee Theater, Pennington Gap, Virginia, has two nights of great music, part of the 2023 Tobacco Festival events. On Friday, the 27th, former folk soul revival lead singer Daniel Davis takes the stage, followed by singer-songwriter Chris Knight, who penned Montgomery Gentry's number one hit, She Couldn't Change Me. On Saturday, Brittany Avery Mullins takes the stage, followed by Julie Roberts, singer of Breakdown Here, Minna Mascara, plus more. For tickets, leetheater.org. When you're working on your game, recovering from an injury, or just having a little fun, the physicians at Buck Sports Medicine have all the tools to keep you at the top of your game. Trust ETSU's team physicians to give you the same expert care as they give our athletes. With state-of-the-art ultrasound and x-ray, as well as on-site physical therapy, Buck Sports Medicine has everything you need for injury prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Stay in the game with Buck Sports Medicine. The Sky 5 drone out here tonight at Patrick Henry for the second half. Couldn't fly it in the first half with that rain. Honeaker on top 20 to 18. That last scoring drive for the Tigers to start the second half. Seven plays, 67 yards, just two minutes, 15 seconds off the clock. So now Patrick Henry down by two. But for Coach Pageant, I'd have to think if you would have told him with 9.39 left in the third quarter, you're down by two, about to get the ball, he'd take it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he would. Anytime uh, you, in the last two weeks, he would be more than glad to have it. But right now, he wants to get the ball, move the chains, and uh, use up all the clock he can here in the third quarter and score a touchdown. We've been seeing kickoffs to the left side all night. Now, Honig, a little squibber, almost an onside. And Oh, Patrick Henry was lucky to fall on that one. If that would have got away, that would have been Honeaker football. There are a lot of Tigers around there. Yeah, I think they uh, maybe caught him off guard, but just the excellent play getting down on top of that ball. That was Colton Fry, a freshman, who fell on top of that football. Definitely good hands there. Rebels will start with fantastic field position, and that was something Coach Pageant said. We did not have good field position in the first half, but they're going to start at their own 49-yard line. Yeah, he's got to be pleased with this field position. You could say uh, uh, right now they unbalanced line over there to the wide side of the field. Good speed at 30 carries in the first half. Yeah, he pulled the right guard, and uh, a halfback was leading him around, but they had a little penetration there in the middle by the Tigers. You see they got a little excited that time on defense there. Big stop on first down. Yeah, the players were trying to get the visiting crowd to make some noise and get them fired up here. That was McLaughlin once again in the backfield there, making the stop there for Honeaker. Tigers, they have five defensive linemen Linebackers right on the line of scrimmage there. Good speed on second down. Fake to him. Brown's going to keep it. He gets a couple more. It's going to set up third and six to seven. 
Yeah, they, uh, like you mentioned, they had five linemen and four linebackers, nine guys in the box uh, running off that left-hand side and was still able to pick up about four yards that time. I'm, I'm sure we're looking at uh, uh, four down territory here for uh, PH. Absolutely, they only had one holding penalty in the first half, so they stayed on schedule, did a good job not having any penalties. There's big Tyler Barrett, 78. Good speed up the middle on third and six, and he's churning, breaking some tackles, and he got through. He's going to be, looks like, just a little short. Yeah, his knee went down there. You can see him dive forward. Great second effort. Someone had him around the leg there, had a hold of him. Oh, wow, they gave them a first down. That was a, I think that was a mistake for that crew there. He was a yard short. Looked like he came up just a little short, and you can see the coaches over on the sideline holding their hand out like, what's going on here? But it's a first down now. Yeah, they've already moved the chains. Yeah, that's a big break for the Rebels there. As a Powell's first down, they'll take it. But that they were a yard short. You see, they've uh, unbalanced over here to the right-hand side this time. But they're running to the left-hand side. Good speed. Picks up about four on first down. Yeah, good push over there on the left-hand side. You see they still kept nine people in the box, and the safeties are walked up there close. They're not worried about a pass. Somewhere along in this game, I think uh, Coach Padgett's going to fake everybody out, and we're going to see a guy go deep. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Better put a big maybe in there because right now he's got to be pleased with that uh, ground attack, eating up the clock and getting first downs. Second and six for Patrick Henry. They are at the Honeacre 38-yard line, down by two. Good speed on second and six, bouncing through the hole, just pushing the pile. He's going to be about a yard shy to be third and one. Yeah, once again, uh, they were unbalanced to the right-hand side there. An extra blocker alignment over there, pulling back to the left. And you can see good speed going up there behind him. Lineman helping him there just a little bit, getting on down there just short of the first down. 6.35 and counting in the third quarter. Third and one for the Rebels. Yeah, they, they've got their signal from the sideline. They're not in a big hurry right now. The signal is slow down. Good speed is in the pistol on third and one. He's trying to bounce it outside, but he's going to be taken down for a loss of one. So now it's fourth and two. Yeah, he lost a little yardage over there. Had a stunt on there in the inside. You can see the blocking back there in the first half. Uh, when a guy goes in motion there a little bit, they usually run that away. And the uh, same thing happened that time. Uh, able to come up there in the middle and make a really big play that time. Aiden Lowe has been a stud tonight for Honaker on both sides of the ball. And the Honaker Tiger crowd trying to make some noise on fourth and two. Play of the game right here so far in the second half. And we got some movement up front by Patrick Henry, and now it's fourth and seven. Yeah, the tackle jumped off over there on that uh, left-hand side. I believe that was uh, the fall. Dead ball, false start on the offense, number 74. Five-yard penalty, replay the down. I think this is one of the things that Coach Padgett talked about during the week, that they couldn't afford to have a penalty like that. Now here's backing them up. Now it's fourth and seven. The offense staying on the field. Hey, they had a fourth and five, and they ran it with good speed and got eight yards. So I'm looking for him to carry the ball again. Let's see if they got try him. and draw him off sides at all here. Light pressure on this uh, lineman with his hand down on the ground on the end over here this time. Fourth and seven. They're going to throw it for the first time tonight. Brown down the middle, incomplete. Yeah. He was looking for Hudson. Uh, had some zip on the ball that time. Uh, and that light pressure with that hand on the ground, I think that was the indication it was a pass. So he was playing in the wingback position coming out, just uh, overthrew him just a little bit. Honeaker now, after getting a stop, they scored. Now they got a stop. Now they have the ball back up by two. 5.17 left in the third quarter. 
They're going to come out four receivers. Aiden Lowe will be back this time in the backfield. He's been in the slot a lot. Lowe's going to carry it on first down. Aiden Lowe, who's had a, in my opinion, he's been the best player in this game tonight for Honeaker. Got a guy down on the field here. Looks like one of the linemen for the Tigers. Aiden Lowe's a first down for Honeaker, though they do have a player down, as you mentioned. I believe that is Aiden Gilbert, number 55. Yeah, I, I think that... Uh, we'll take a timeout here while the Honeaker staff looks at Aiden Gilbert. Come on, defense! All-wheel drive season is coming. Changes. Weather. Road conditions. What doesn't change? Toyota's capability to keep pushing on with a family of trucks built to outlast and outlive any adventure. Like the powerful new Tundra. The most capable Tundra ever with towing up to 12,000 pounds and the best resale value in its class. Plus, you get two years no cost maintenance. Change is coming. Stay ahead with Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. Legend has it there was once a man who climbed the same mountain each morning, rewarding his summit with a smoky sausage biscuit from Pals. I love these savory, juicy Smokies. These mountains will henceforth be known as the Smoky. No, 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 Bird! No, please, come back! My Smoky! Locals say you can still hear his cries today. Pals, great food in a flash. It's a good run by Lowe. First down. Welcome back to Patrick Henry High School, the Sky 5 drone powered by Guardian Foundation Repair. Up here for the second half of this one tonight. It's been a great game so far. Aiden Gilbert still down on the field for Honeaker, one of their linemen. And you see the coaches there, Todd Tiller and Seth Pageant talking, and we're going to have our scholar athlete segment here where they continue to look at Aiden Gilbert. Your Mountain Area Ford dealers are proud to recognize our News 5 Sports Scholar Athletes of the Week. From Honeaker, we have Kate Jesse. On the court, Jesse makes her presence known as a three year varsity letterman for volleyball, basketball, and soccer. Off the court, she is top of her class academically, president of four different organizations, and has earned many academic awards. All scholar athletes have the opportunity to compete for a $5,000 scholarship to be awarded at the end of the season. We'll take a look here at the Hogahigi District standings, Honeaker and Rural Retreat both unbeaten in the league. Patrick Henry, their loss came to Rural Retreat in the Hogahiki District. Honeaker looking to get to 8-0. There's yet Chilhawi, Holston, Northern. It's a pretty tough district there. Honeaker, their first year in the Hogahiki. Yeah, they they used to be in the Hogahiki years ago when they were over in the Black Diamond, and now they moved back over. See the cheers are going up for uh, Gilbert there for helping him off the field. Yeah, Aiden Gilbert, he's the starting left guard and defensive tackle for Honeaker. So good to see him getting up. He's needing help to get off the field. Again, that's what these small schools here, these linemen especially, a lot of they have to play both sides of the ball. And so when you have an injury like that, it doesn't just affect one side of the ball. Yeah, you and probably on the punting team as well. So that's three teams he's on. Once in a while, a punt return where he's on the defensive line. So that's four teams that one player's on. So yeah, the small school when a lineman goes out, it's uh, it's devastating. Certainly wish Aiden Gilbert all the best. Hopefully it's nothing serious. So Honeaker, though, but they have some momentum here in the second half. They scored, they get a stop, and Aiden Lowe just had a first down carry on that play where Gilbert got hurt. So as we get back to action, there's 5-11 remaining in the third quarter. Honeaker's on top 20-18. Tigers have been averaging 51 points a game this year, so they're well below that currently as Music with this first down carry. The fewest points Honeaker scored in a game this year is 36. Yeah, and uh, right now, PH would like that number to go even lower. C coming up on fourth down, we're passing the ball. We've got a new lineman in the game, so we might see a twist over here on this left-hand side uh, uh, in, in there for Gilbert. Uh, I, d I don't have a... It looks like Jacob Powers, number 54, is lined up at left guard now. Music, that quick throw game. 
They've been going to that in the second half. Parker Bandy has been the main target on the receiving core coming into the season. Bandy has had 42 catches for 10 touchdowns. And it looks like they he just picked up the first down, getting outside again on that little hitch pattern and bringing out Malachi Lowe to block for him on the corner and getting that field there. Another first down. Powell's first down for the Honeaker Tigers. They are inside the 40-yard line of Patrick Henry at the 39. Jackson dies, going to get the carry on first down, and the Patrick Henry defense holds him to a gain of one. Yeah, ran off that right side that time. Not a, not a lot of room up there to pick up any yardage that time. Great defense by PH. Second and nine. Under four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Third to last week of the regular season in Southwest Virginia. Both teams have two games after this remaining. They're going to run a little counter to Aiden Lowe. And Aiden Lowe is going to score another touchdown. This one from 37 yards. First time we see that play by Honaker. Yeah, a little crossbuck action trap in the backfield. But what you need to watch is over there on that right-hand side. Bandy, what a block. He takes out two defenders. And you'll see him spring coming up right here on the outside right here coming up. You'll see Bandy gets a block, takes out two of them, low down the sideline, touchdown. This is a big conversion right now. Honegger up by eight. If they get this, it becomes a two-possession game. Yeah, they're definitely going for two here. They can see they got things spread out. Two backs in the backfield this time. They're going to hand it off to Aiden Lowe and say, give us two yards. I don't think he did. No good on the conversion. So a big stop for Patrick Henry as it stays a one-possession game. Honaker on top, 26-18. Yeah, that was a big drive. Uh, after that injury, come back a couple plays later, you get into the end zone. So, uh, yeah, the Honecker side of the field has got to be feeling a lot better right now. 37-yard touchdown by Aiden Lowe. Yeah, there you see Bandy there with the block right there at the end of the play. Lowe just starts slowing down, gets into the end zone. You can tell he's been there before. Honeaker has gone for two every time they've scored, but they've only converted on one of their four two-point conversions. Hey, that could come in big tonight. You can check it out here late in the fourth quarter. We'll find out. I mean, really, with the way Patrick Henry plays, I mean, if they would have gotten just two or four, it would be a two-score game. Yeah, it'd be totally different. Um, right now, like you said, PH just needs one time to get into the end zone. I mean, obviously, they would need to get a two-point conversion yeah, as well. Plus a two-point conversion. But one thing PH has that we saw there in the first half, they got the field goal kicker. They do, and Honaker hasn't attempted an extra point, so clearly they feel more confident going for two. Even their kicks have been a lot of squibs. The last time they even tried an onside kick. Yeah, and they, uh, they look like they're coming over here to the left side. Again, they got six, uh, six guys on this side. Line drive goes through a couple PH players down to the 20. Brown's going to pick it up, and he's going to get brought down around the 31, 32 yard line. So much better starting field position if you're the Honecker kickoff team. Yeah, Honecker did a much better job that time. Uh, you can see Brown again. He sort of twisted around there, but he wasn't able to get away from him as he was able to null and made the tackle there, I believe, number 18. Uh, so, yeah, they had good, good kickoff coverage that time. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. It's been a third quarter dominated by Honaker. Coming up in the fourth quarter, we'll have our Toyota drive of the game. Patrick Henry, they could use a drive here that finishes in points to get back in this one, get some momentum back on their side. Good speed is going to line up in the Wildcat here. Cameron Goodspeed. He has a nice first down carry for Goodspeed. Yeah, you see, he did an excellent job following his blockers getting off that left-hand side off the tackle. You see, Dunn, uh, the guard, got on downfield there and was blocking for him, did a really good job. That's a first down run there for Cameron, good speed. You see, he pulled two guys over to the left-hand side that time. And Hudson did one of them, number one, along with Dunn. Said a little wildcat, and all three blockers were on the right hand side. Once again, we see the same thing in the, in the backfield. They got uh, Jenkins back there in the backfield. Just give it right to good speed and let him go. He tries to get away from the tackle, but 
He's brought down a couple of Honeaker Tigers in there. One of them was Nick Ball. Yeah, the, uh, that time it just a, a power off right tackle. Just a, a good tackle there. You can see number 23 holding on to, for dear life there. Wasn't going to let him get away. I think number 23 there was at the Whited, the playing outside linebacker now. He's been in the game for a long time. Good speed, got two on that first down carry, second and eight. Same formation once again. Good speed going right, running into the pile, falling across the 50. It's gonna be third and two, we'll say, for Patrick Henry. Yeah, unbelievable push over here on this right-hand side that time with uh, Dunn, McFall, and Mink, as well as uh, three blockers in the backfield. It's just sort of like the old blast play off tackle. Get up through there and get all you can. Honek was able to make a stop here, so it's gonna be third and short. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Honaker trailed 18-14 at halftime. They scored two touchdowns in this third quarter, but they missed a two-point conversion both times. Third and two, good speed. He's got those two and then some more. Another first down for the Rebels. So the same play again, same play again. If you can see the sideline that last play, Coach Padgett was just taking his time, telling him to calm down, everything's okay. We're just going to run the football again. Good speed's gonna have a hard time getting out of bed, I'd say, tomorrow. He's gonna be, <laughs> you know, he had 30 carries in the first half. He's probably gonna be over 50 by the time this game ends. I'm sure he is, and I, I, I don't think he minds at all. Get a little movement by the Tigers, but they get back across the neutral zone. Good speed has been getting the direct snap every play on this series. And Goodspeed breaks through. Cameron Goodspeed inside the 25. Another house first down for the Patrick Henry Rebels. Kind of running out of adjectives and ways to describe what Goodspeed does. Well, he could have had a touchdown that time. You can see a game saving tackle right here by Bandy. Bandy's able to bring him down to keep him from getting into the end zone. We got the umbrellas are coming back out. The rain starting to fall. Yeah, you can see it coming back. Might look for a play to the wide side of the field. They've run this short side of the field about three or four times in a row now. Play they're clock is down to five. Yeah, they're unbalanced to the left side, wide side this time. Sort of a little fake, a uh, little movement in the backfield there. Maybe the, the guard move just, a, I mean, the blocking back move just a little quick. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Five yards from the previous spot, replay first down. Didn't give us a number that time, but I believe it was the, the one of the backs that was in there to block for good speed that time. They're gonna wind the clock here. The play clock and game clock are about the same. Be really close that they'd have to get one off here. Looks like they will. Bit of a low snap, good speed going right. He breaks to another tackle. It's unbelievable how he does this time after time. Just making guys miss, and they're just like racing out, and they can't even touch him. That'll be the final play of the third quarter. We'll be back for the fourth quarter. Honaker on top 26-18 on Friday Night Rivals. Trick or Treat Trivia, it's your chance to win. Just watch News 5 today at 6, look for the QR code to enter, answer correctly, and you could win the daily prize of a $100 Visa gift card or be in a drawing for the $5,000 weekly winner. Complete contest rules at WCYB.com. The Earth is 70% water and 30% land. But the entire sky belongs to us. Friendship Ford has it all. 
It's got a seven-day NEU reason exchange. It's got over 2,000 vehicles in stock. Yeah, that internet price you see? We guarantee it. You want free delivery? Sure. Anywhere. And oh yeah, the region's only lifetime warranty. And that's on every vehicle sold. And that, my friends, is what Friendship Ford's got. Save over $7,000 off MSRP in the new 2023 F-150. We're dealing. When you're working on your game, recovering from an injury, or just having a little fun, the physicians at Buck Sports Medicine have all the tools to keep you at the top of your game. Trust ETSU's team physicians to give you the same expert care as they give our athletes. With state-of-the-art ultrasound and x-ray, as well as on-site physical therapy, Buck Sports Medicine has everything you need for injury prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation. Stay in the game with Buck Sports Medicine. Catch the biggest plays and final scores on Friday Night Huddle with the News 5 sports team every Friday night during News 5 at 11. Sponsored by Ingalls, Champion Chevrolet, Citizens Bank, and Pals. You're watching Toyota's Friday Night Rivals, presented by ETSU Health. As we come back to the fourth quarter, that's our cameraman, Jim Martin. You can't see him right now, but we want to give him a shout-out. This is his final game working for us here. He's been with us for four years, drives up from Knoxville every week as much as our crew does. Thank you, Jim, for all your dedication, and what a way to send you out. A nice rain game. Also, A.J. LaPerch, his final game with us this season, but hopefully A.J. will be back next year, and he's also going out in a rain game as well. So, gentlemen, thank you for all your work this year, and everybody else. You have to put up with us one more week next week. Second and five for Patrick Henry. First play of the fourth quarter. You talk about unbalanced. They got four guys over here on the left-hand side. Good they speed. They run it back to the other side. Good speed brought down for a loss thanks to big Tyler Cole. 71 for Honegger did a fantastic job shutting a blocker and then bringing down good speed. Yeah, and uh, also I think getting in there that time might have been the uh, 88. Also getting in there for uh, Honecker. That's Malachi so, Lowe. Yeah, Malachi Lowe, and he, he was up on the line of scrimmage that time. Like you said, uh, 71, Tyler Cole, both of them closed that play down, and other guys helped out. There was actually five guys on the left-hand side. You could see it again. They're in the same formation. Third and six for Patrick Henry. They lost a yard on that one. Yeah, there's five guys on the left-hand side of the ball, and here they come with the sweep to the left side. Good speed's going left. He's going to have to work to get out there, and he's going to be brought down by a couple of Tigers, one being Aiden Lowe, the other Braden Marsh. It's going to set up fourth down, and we said it once in the third quarter, but we'll say it again. This could be now the play of the game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, PH needs to pick up a first down bad right here to keep the ball, keep it out of the Tigers' hands. Right now, there's not a rush to get a playoff. Looks like they're coming back with the same formation. The last two plays, one left, one right. They're still in and three. Still in the Wildcat. This drive has been all Cameron good speed. Fourth and three. Good speed, breaking some tackles. A host of Tigers pushing them back. It's going to be close. But we don't have the best vantage point where we are. I believe they're signaling. Uh, Honeaker thinks they stopped them short. I, I think they got it. The, the official was spotted on the line, held his hand up. Now they've already moved the chains. Uh-oh. Now they're going to try to measure. <laughs> uh, the official on the far side, I think that he was saying they didn't have it. You see the chain was already facing the way Honeaker's going in this exactly. half. Exactly. Yeah, they moved it. And the down marker has a one on it. And, of course, that was fourth down. So a key measurement here. I think they had to get it past the 15-yard uh, line there for a first down, the original spot. Well, that ball's inside the 15. We'll see if it's enough to get a first down. And they're going to be short. That's a Honeaker stop. And a turnover on downs for the Rebels, a big stop for Honeaker. Yeah, it was. And what happened that time, they got a little penetration. Somebody was able to get a hand on good speed in the backfield. And the rest of the guys came off their block. And they were able to stop it over here on that left-hand side. 10.58 10 remaining in the fourth quarter. So Honeaker has held Patrick Henry scoreless here in the second half. 
the Tigers have scored two touchdowns. They're up by eight, and now they have the ball back. Yeah, and uh, over there on the far side of the field, you can see Bandy out there. He got single coverage. See what's going on here. This is going to be eight in low time for Honeaker. Again, he's had a fantastic game. Looked like he got maybe shaken up a little bit back in the first half. He came out for a couple plays, but then right back in there, and he's going both ways, offense, defense, as a receiver, as a running back, and then as a linebacker. He's been everywhere tonight for Honeaker. Yeah, he plays a lot of different positions, from uh, running back to wing back to slot to wide receiver, and then plus all the places, places he plays on defense. That rain's coming down pretty good right now. We're in the fourth quarter. We got two backs in the backfield this time. They're gonna fake it to low, give it to Jackson, die. Yeah, I think that play was designed to go just a little bit wider, but he had to cut it up there. Someone made some penetration over there on the outside. It was a good play by the Patrick Henry Rebels that time, so it's gonna be third, about six, I guess. Well, I think it actually says eight on the scoreboard. Looks more like seven to me. There you go, third and six now. Six. I got it right the first time. Never second guess yourself, coach. <laughs> Four Here, receivers. Yeah, man coverage on the outside. Music's gonna throw it, and he's incomplete. So how about Patrick Henry now? They turn it over on downs. They force Honaker three and out here. Yeah, Music put a little zip on it that time. It was just out of Bandy's hands. Uh, now Music is the punter here, so they leave everybody in the in the game here. Music punted it once already tonight. Certainly at your own 19-yard line, up a touchdown. But that is a huge stop. Yeah, he's uh, only about five yards behind the line of scrimmage. Now he backs up a little more, and one of the Rebels goes back as well. A low liner. This one's going to take a Honeaker bounce to near the 50. That'll be down there. We're going to take a timeout. Honeaker gives it back to Patrick Henry with 9.38 remaining in the fourth quarter. This is the all-new Grand Highlander. Toyota took the best-selling Highlander and made it bigger, more powerful, and more fuel efficient. With your choice of three different powertrains, including the 362 horsepower Hybrid Max. The interior design is so tech-focused, I'm in total control. And you've got to love the 12.3-inch touchscreen. The big news is right back here with over 20 cubic feet of cargo space. Behind a full-size third row. Step up to something grand. Toyota. Let's go places. Imagine buying a home with no down payment. Imagine buying that home without the added expense of private mortgage insurance. We're the Bank of Marion, and our no down payment, no PMI home loan has put hundreds of families throughout the region in their own homes. If your family has steady employment, dependable income, and a good credit rating, you may qualify for our no down payment, no PMI home loan. Let's get you in your new home now. Apply online, call, or come see us. You'll be surprised at how quick and easy it is. Rain coming down pretty good now once again in Glade Spring. It was like this back when we started the game, and it stopped. Third quarter was dry. Fourth quarter, not so much here. The rain is coming down. It's, it's now 10 minutes after 9 on a day where it's been raining a lot on and off. Yeah, I'm sure the field's getting a little slippery out there. It was much water as had all day. As a big stop by Patrick Henry to keep it a one-possession game. Good speed. He gets brought down on the play. Austin Claiborne there with a nice tackle for the Tigers, number six. Yeah, coming in there for the stop. Great play. Uh, it was a little counter play. You could see he stepped to the right, gave him the ball, and he cut back to the left. Uh, nothing there that time. Good defense up front. It's going to be second and ten. How critical was that stop for Patrick Henry to keep it a one-score game? I mean, Honegger had all the momentum, then you force a three and out. Yeah, you got the ball back, and you're going to take your time and uh, try to move it on down the field right here. It's one of those things that Coach Padgett wants to do, what he's done the whole ball game. He's not in a hurry. Not in a hurry. Run, clock, run. Under nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. 26-18, Honeaker. Good speed on second and ten. He breaks a couple more tackles. Cameron, good speed. Gets hit there by Malachi low from behind. But again, that could have been third and ten. Now it's instead it's third and seven. Yeah, he actually broke, like you said, he broke two tackles there coming over here on the left-hand side. You can see there's unbalanced to this side once again and had a had a back over here blocking for him. You can see Coach Tiller said we get, need to get more people at the ball. And you can see they're maybe they're holding on just a little tighter to keep him from getting loose. 
getting a play from Coach Pageant. He says signaling in the play from the sideline. Third and seven for the Rebels. They've attempted one pass in this game tonight. Good speed on third and seven. He's got some room up the middle. Cameron, good speed. He's got enough for a first down. Yeah, he just bounced off a couple tackles that time and leaning forward. Uh, got a first down. And you see, they sort of changed what they're doing on offense. Brown's back at quarterback this series, handing off the ball to good speed. Getting a little cross block up front. Guys getting downfield. And good speed running hard. It's another first down. Big thing on this, uh, when they score, they'll be going for two to, to tie this thing up if they score on this drive. Under eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. You can see Honecker, they still have nine guys in the box. Uh, safety sneaked up over there on the outside. Good speed with a direct snap. And he's got some room across the 30. Cameron good speed down to about the 22. Another first down for the Rebels. Yeah, he ran hard off the right-hand side. You can see him cut back to the left. Got a lot of extra yardage. Able to move the chains again. Another just power run right there. Big 78 getting in there to block. Kicking out. Back up through there. Good speed coming over to get the play from Coach Patch. Look at all that grass and mud in his helmet. That's a football player right there. Yeah, he just ate. No problem right here. We're going to go down and score. He's saying, give me the football. And now they changed. Uh, they got three blockers over there on the right-hand side where it's unbalanced to the right side. Good speed in the Wildcat. Takes a direct snap. He fumbles it. The ball is loose. Honeaker falls on it, and Patrick Henry turns it over for the first time. Cameron Goodspeed has had a tremendous game, his first mistake of the night. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if somebody reached in there and knocked that out or not, but uh, he's always tucking that ball away, holding it high and tight. We'll see right here. Yeah, I think someone got it in there, got a hand on it, knocked it out. Big play for Honeaker right there. Big play to, to stop PH's drive, and now they're still hitting the ball game and got it back. Let's take another look here at the replay. Yeah, it might have been, I couldn't see the number there. Someone might have kind of pushed his left arm a little bit, and the ball just scored it out. Yeah. Now, Honeaker, if there's one positive for PH, is the Tigers are inside their own 10 yard line. Four receivers for the Tigers. Aiden Lowe's going to get the carry. He's going to get maybe two yards. That's about all he's going to get. Yeah, they ran a trap on the right side, pulled the left guard to kick out the end. The end actually did a pretty good job taking it on with his inside shoulder, jamming up the hole there. So he just got a couple yards on it. The linebackers did a good job coming from the inside that time. Shootings out there again. It seems like here in the fourth quarter, with the way the, the rain is coming down, that the passing game has been kind of eliminated by Honegger. They've been on the ground pretty consistently with a short passing game. Perhaps I got a man open now, Parker Bandy. They faked the short one. Bandy with a big completion across the 35. So that'll be a gain of 24 for Parker Bandy. Yeah, that's the same play they've been running all night, but Bandy switched places with Lowe that time, and they fakes it out here to Lowe, and Bandy keeps on running down the sideline. You can see it's just a good pass right there. Puts a little move on Brown, able to get on down there. Brown gets back a hold of him to bring him down. Big play there for the Tigers. We're approaching six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Honeaker now has it out to the 36. They're going to give it to Die. Yeah, they ran that crossbuck trap once again. Defensive end over there on that uh, right-hand side did an excellent job for the Patrick Henry Rebels. I don't know if that was uh, Barrett over there on that side that time or not. Yep, that's who it was. Tyler Barrett, big number 78, stayed right there. Jackson Dye needs a teammate to help him fix his shoulder pads there. He might have got it himself there. There's Barrett. Honeaker now working a little clock as we're under five and a half minutes left. Tigers up by eight. Back to the one back in the backfield set. Music's going to throw it out. And if I, I would go over and make sure, yeah, I would have got that ball there. That was close to the official, yeah. Complete, yeah. yeah. The official signal, I, I was looking, I was the same thing as you. I thought it was a lateral there to begin with. And then you can see the receiver, the official on the sideline, watch his hands. He's, he did He's looking over to the side, and he says, nope, incomplete. Yeah, that was, from that angle, that was a forward pass. I mean, it was a yeah. yard or two ahead, but uh, from where we're at up here, it yeah. looked like it might have been behind. So incomplete, third and 10 for Honeaker. So Patrick Henry, they got one stop. 
They need another one here, third and 10. Man coverage. Music. He's got some linemen on the outside. He's going to drop it off to Bandy, and he's going to be nowhere near the first down. No, just a, a really good play there by Patrick Henry on defense. Jeb Stewart didn't get faked out at all, number 12. Also uh, coming up there, helping him out with Steele from the inside linebacker position. They gave him two yards on the play, so it's going to be fourth and eight. I'm thinking they're punting this ball. It might look like they're going for it, but I'm thinking they're punting. I mean, you're ahead in the ball game, uh, going forward on your own 38-yard line. Honeaker has not allowed a point in the second half. Music will probably back up here and punt this one away. No, they're going to go for it on fourth and eight across the middle. It's complete. And how wow. about the gamble there by Todd Tiller? And Aiden Lowe with the reception. That's the play of the game. Yeah, you better believe it. You've got a lot of faith in your quarterback and your receiver right there to come up with that play. That yeah. takes some guts to do that on fourth and eight from your own 38. Up a touchdown. Yeah. Todd Tiller rolls the dice and comes he, up with aces. I'm sure he's thinking, hey, if we get a first down here, we can uh, win a football game. And he just moved the chains. It's four minutes and the clock is running. What a throw that was in the rain here by Peyton Music. Now they're going to give it to Aiden Lowe on the ground. They just threw it to him for the play of the game. And now he gets nine yards on first down. Yeah, you noticed uh, who's getting the ball now. Best player, best two players on offense, but they've got a lot of good players. I'm not taking anything away from the rest of them. But, you know, you give the ball to Lowe, you can't go wrong there when the ball's in Music's hand to throw it to him. Two big plays there. Under four minutes left, second and one. Now you're Patrick Henry. You're going to eventually have to start thinking about calling some timeouts here. Yeah, PH needs to come up with a stop right here. A linebacker walked up on the line of scrimmage, stunting in the middle this time. Music under pressure. He throws it away. There was a receiver in the vicinity right there. Yeah. You see that's Parker Bandy. Oh, Bandy did a really smart thing that time. You people at home, you see this. He threw the ball towards Bandy. Bandy immediately turned and went toward the football. So given the illusion that, hey, it's for me, uh, it was close to me, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, great play by Bandy that time. Smart, smart play, heads up. Third and one for Honeaker. You'd expect Aiden Lowe to get it here. They give it to Aiden Lowe. He's got the first down. You know, right now, this is a really good field position for him, and they're moving the ball well. I don't know if we're going to see another pass to Bandy or not, but uh, he's got Stewart on him, a freshman, and you got Bandy out there that's a, a senior. So we, we might see that. He's out here on the island by himself. No help from anyone. Safety's in the middle of the field. If you're Coach Pageant, are you taking a timeout after this play as we're going to be under three minutes when this ball snapped? Uh, I'm going to see maybe go one more play to see what happens uh, on second down where you can get them in second and long. But anytime they, they can. Uh... It's going to be a run to Lowe. He's going to kick it outside. Aiden Lowe should stay in bounds here if he can. And he did. He stayed in bounds. Seen a little uh, stagger step there with the move. Was able to get on upfield. That's a veteran so, play by the senior. Very smart play to yeah. stay in bounds. Yeah, and Bandy got a little block there. Stewart came off the block, and he was able to get upfield there and to make the tackle. So it was a real big play there by P.H. to stop him, to keep him from getting a first down. And now I think you're going to look at Coach Patch and start using those timeouts. Second and four, 2.15, there's 15 seconds on the play clock. It'll be right around two minutes when they snap this ball. The rain is blowing sideways. It's really coming down right now. This is going to be Die on the carry. He's got a first down. Yeah, that's a big, another big play there to pick up that first down with two minutes. Actually, that was Braden Marsh, actually, Marsh. not Die. So now with it being first down, I think Coach Pageant not calling a timeout, but it's going to have to come after this play right here. you got all three timeouts. You're setting up now. It's first down. If you can stop him, has, getting, has to be. Yeah, it has to be. Uh, he's running out of time. He's got to use them now in order to give his offense some time. And you know his offense, uh, they don't throw the ball much. 
So yeah, it's, it's crucial that they get a stop right here on this down. Hoenaker's got to have two hands on the ball now at all times running the ball. It's Marsh again. So someone who's not had many carries tonight, he's getting a couple and there's the timeout by Seth Pageant there. Braden Marsh, the junior, getting some work here late in the ball game. Yeah, right up the middle, uh, just running behind his big guys there, uh, Sykes, Gilbert. Well, Gilbert's out now, Powers is in, and Hale. All right, we're going to take a timeout with Patrick Henry calling a timeout. Yeah. Okay, so maybe not everything gets better with age. But you know what does? Buying a Hyundai from Friendship. You name it, it's better. It's better quality, better designed, with better features, and better safety ratings. Best yet, every car from Friendship comes with a lifetime warranty. Boom. So come buy better, then drive better. At Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. Take off your savings at Friendship Hyundai of Bristol and Johnson City. We're dealing. Legend has it there was once a man who climbed the same mountain each morning, rewarding his summit with a smoky sausage biscuit from Pals. I love these savory, juicy Smokies. These mountains will henceforth be known as the Smoke. <laughs> no, 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 Bird! No, please come back! My Smokey! Locals say you can still hear his cries today. Pals, great food in a flash. Welcome back. Patrick Henry taking their first time out of the second half. Second and seven after Braden Marsh picked up three yards. The Rebels have two timeouts left, 127 on the clock. If Honaker can get one more first down, they should be able to run out the clock the rest of the game. Yeah, they got an H back in there, two backs in the backfield, so it's definitely running formation this time. They Eight and low. On second down, he's going to be short, so another timeout for Coach Pageant. We're going to keep it here, and we're going to take a look now at our Toyota drive of the game. During this timeout, we're going to go to Aiden Lowe with a big first down run, and then Parker Bandy with a reception for another first down. Aiden Lowe then goes for the touchdown here. That yeah. gave Honaker the lead. Yeah, just a great blocking on the outside there by Bandy after that catch, coming back and getting a block. And, of course, Lowe getting up the outside line. Anytime Lowe gets it, he can take it to the house. He's like good speed. Third and four for Honaker. Patrick Henry, one timeout left, 119 on the clock. Yeah, it's definitely four down territory. I should say third and five. Ball's at the 19. They need to get to the 14 for a first down. So we'll see third and five for Honaker. Certainly where they're at, they have two downs to get these five yards. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, uh, Coach Tiller might surprise us again by putting the ball back in the air, gambling here big to see if he can get another first down. Would you run it here, though, to make them use their final timeout? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely running the ball right here on third down because uh, where you're located on the field, you're inside the 20-yard line. Or if you get, if they stop you, you're going to go for it on fourth down anyway. But they didn't have any timeouts left. You can see the uh, uh, wheel in there in a tight formation. Linebacker shifting around. Aiden Lowe's got it on third and five. The senior has the first down. Aiden Lowe looks like he has the first down. We'll see though. But. From up here, it looks like he has it. The U.S. Air Force fan cam. The Honaker fans are getting drenched, but they're happy. It is a first down by Aiden Lowe, and that will pretty much do it for this one. Yeah, that sealed the deal right there on that play. Uh, Coach Patton's got one timeout left. Uh, I think he's using it right now. And so they did really, they can just uh, take a knee, and uh, the ball game's over. I think Honaker realizes that now. You can see that it's starting to celebrate a little bit out there on the field. 26-18, you said out of timeouts now for Patrick Henry with 103 and a 40-second play clock. They have to snap it twice. Yeah, that's it. Uh, let's say the ball game's over. They, uh, Yeah, you can see over there now the, they've already started a little celebration there on the sideline, but they know it's not over because you still got to snap the ball and hold on to it. And as we saw at the college level a couple weeks ago with Miami, oh, uh, you better oh, take a knee here now, Yeah, right? definitely take a knee. Definitely take a knee. Uh, yeah. I think uh, Miami wish they had that to do over. Is that something though, when something like that happens, is that just a good refresher for coaches at every level as I, a reminder about what to do in the situation? Hey, I, I think you learn from that. Uh, I know during my coaching career, we uh, we won a, won a game like that one night. Uh, 
It's one of those things, uh, not taking a knee, you know, you tell the backs to hold on to it with two hands, but sometimes they still fumble. And the ball comes out, and the team takes advantage of it. And uh, right here, you can see they're going into their victory formation. Yeah, they're taking a knee. The Honeaker will have to take two snaps here, two knees to end it with 103 on the clock. Patrick Henry out of timeouts. Music is going to be heavily guarded. And there's one knee. And one more for Todd Taylor. What a gutsy win this is for Honeaker. You come on the road, terrible weather. Yeah, yeah that uh, the weather conditions is not what uh, Honeaker wanted coming into this game, as big of a game as it is. You've got the first place team in the district and the, the third place team in the district. And uh, you're fighting to stay in first because the second tape place team doesn't have a loss and you're over here tonight in this rain and you come away with a come away with a big win and that will be the final snap they don't have to snap it again even though there's still 30 seconds on the game clock yeah coach killer's telling his guys to get down here yeah, the last thing he wants yeah. an unsportsmanlike penalty or anything yeah. like that right now so they'll let this final 20 seconds run out and these two best friends these coaches todd tiller and seth pageant they talk daily best of friends they're gonna share a moment here as tiller and the tigers get a hard fought 26 18 win over patrick henry and who knows these two might see each other again in the playoffs yeah coached together there at uh, fort chisel a few years ago uh, both of them's head coaches now got their own program both of them doing an excellent job two different styles of offense ph you know on the ground run the ball tillers in the air and uh, getting down the field great game by both teams all right, we'll take a quick timeout, and we will hear from a happy bunch of Honeaker Tigers after this on Friday Night Rivals. Houston area Ford dealers are proud to recognize our News 5 Sports Scholar Athletes of the Week, celebrating excellence in academics and athletics. Every week, News 5 and your Mountain Area Ford dealers are honoring student athletes around the region for their accomplishments both on and off the field. From Patrick Henry High School, we have Sammy Mink. Mink played one year of soccer and has been a three-year letterman on the football team, helping his team earn the district championship as a starting left guard. In the classroom, Sammy is a member of the National Honor Society and has a cumulative GPA of 4.0. Active in his church, Mink is the lead guitar player in the worship band and helps feed the homeless through church ministries. He also helps his elderly neighbors with yard work. And from Honeaker, we have Kate Jesse. On the court, Jesse makes her presence known as a three year varsity letterman for volleyball, basketball, and soccer, picking up all region honors in volleyball, all state honors in soccer, and helping lead the basketball team to a state title in 2022. Off the court, she is top of her class academically, president of four different organizations, and has earned many academic awards. Kate gives back to the community by helping coach various youth leagues, as well as being an active member of Impact Youth at her church. All scholar athletes have the opportunity to compete for a $5,000 scholarship to be awarded at the end of the season. Welcome back. We have Todd Tiller, Honeaker head coach, joining us. Coach, congratulations on the win. I have to ask you first, the decision to go forward, fourth and eight at your own 38. Walk us through that decision. I, we knew if we got that uh, first down there that we could uh, ice the game away. It was a big call, and uh, we had faith in their offense, and uh, they they converted. Oh, yeah, excellent blocking on the play as well. You had a great quarterback throwing the ball to an unbelievable running back receiver low there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, uh, you know, put the ball in their uh, playmaker's hands, and they make plays. I know uh, the, talking to those guys at halftime, they must have listened to what you had to say because they come out in the second half and did the job. Yes, sir. They did. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, all the coaches and players did excellent tonight. Can't thank them enough. What does Aiden Lowe mean to your team? And how about his play tonight? I mean, he was everywhere, offense and defense. Uh, Aiden Lowe is the ultimate weapon. He's the X factor. He does everything. He's so good in the running game, in the pass game, and on defense. He's he's amazing. If you were giving out uh, stars tonight on the helmets, I believe you got to give one to Bandy over there on that sideline. Yes, sir. Last, yes, last sir. touchdown going down the field. I think he took out two defenders there with yes, that block. Did. That was a great block by him. He, uh, Bandy's a 
amazing player. He sacrificed everything for that. He's awesome. Yeah. What did you learn about your team tonight? I mean, the weather was terrible. You come in averaging 51 points a game. You score 26 and you win. What did you learn about your team? Our team, you know, they're great against adversity. You know, they can rise to the occasion in the weather. We can run the ball. People think we can't run the ball. They only think we can throw the ball. But I think we proved tonight that uh, we can run as well. Oh, yeah, you had some really good runs tonight. And you got to be pleased with that defense there in the second half. Yes, I am. They did an excellent job of gang tackling, and they got to the ball, and uh, they did what they were supposed to do. Coach, congratulations. Give that trophy to your team. Enjoy this win. I will. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Hey, right, guys. All right, we're going to take a quick timeout, then we'll be back to wrap things up from Patrick Henry High School after this. Bought by your new Lexus from Lexus of Kingsport. A benefit of purchasing your vehicle with us is that we will come pick up your vehicle for you for service. Even people that live in Johnson City, they said, you mean you'll come all the way to Johnson City to get our car? And we're like, absolutely. Find your new Lexus at LexusofKingsport.com. ECSU Health's tradition of caring for our community has deep roots. You see, we are more than healthcare workers. We're a proud part of this community. That's why you'll find us serving in your schools and joining the festivities at community events like these. We're here to help our community thrive. We're cultivating wellness, celebrating our roots, and growing our families alongside yours. Whether at a clinic or the next community event, come see us. We're here for you. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store, beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. All trophies and plaques for WCYB's Friday Night Rivals are provided by Eddie's Trophies and Gift Shop in Bristol. Eddie's Trophies also offers medals, plaques, acrylics, glass, and crystal pieces for your business, school, or sports team. That's Eddie's Trophy and Gift Shop online at eddiestrophies.com. Live Golf from the CW. Anything can happen. Has been building all season to this. It's all about the teams. The 2023 Team Championship. Catch every moment in Miami, Florida. As Torque and the Crushers look to dethrone the four aces. And guess what? My team's going to do it again. Let's be honest. We all hate the aces. Live Golf Miami. Live Golf this Saturday and Sunday, starting at 1 on the Tri-City CW. Welcome back to Patrick Henry High School. Honaker with the win, 26-18 over Patrick Henry. The Tigers improved to 8-0 on this season. And what a game it was by Aiden Lowe and company. Peyton Music, they improved to 8-0 on the season. Time now to thank all the folks who make this possible. Once again, Toyota, ETSU Health, the Bank of Glade Spring, and the Bank of Honeaker, Howes Food City, Mountain Area Ford Dealers, the Tennessee Army National Guard, the Air Force, Jersey Mike's, and Eddie's Trophies. This game will be rebroadcast tomorrow on the Tri-City CW for our fantastic crew had to brace the elements tonight. Again, thank you to Jim Martin. AJ, your final game of the season with us. We appreciate all your hard work. Our fantastic crew for Coach Cully. I'm Casey Getz. We'll see you next week for our final Friday Night Rivals game. Virginia High at Lebanon. Have a great weekend.